Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome to Virtual Red Band number 312, Back to Normal. That's right. The last couple weeks I have been completely off my schedule. As you might know, I didn't even, I don't, I think I did one episode of Virtual Red Band last week. Uh, pretty much I had shows that were moved around. I had a Halloween show. I had um, Skank Fest. So I had to edit all my stuff that I usually do on the weekends during the week and my my schedule has just been out of control and finally today was my first day off uh, I, I slept in uh, I have the, the new Apple watch and I've been doing something that I haven't done in a while which is uh, I've been wearing this at night uh, so I can track how much I sleep and how good I sleep and the cool thing is I do sleep good when I when I go to sleep but my sleep schedule has been so fucked up that <clears throat> I've always been thinking that I've been sleeping a lot when actually I've been getting I've been averaging like like six hours a night, which is not good. Uh, but today I killed that sleep schedule. I think I got nine, nine and a half hours of sleep. So I am well rested uh, and I am back on track of just having a normal schedule for a while. <clears throat> Uh, I am drinking out of the new Death Squad mug. Uh, you might have seen me talking about that. There's two colors. There's also a blue one. There's also the Death Squad hats. Uh, I've reprinted these classic ones. There's a blue one and a black one. A lot of people have been asking for that. And I'm happy to announce that there's a new shirt that's on Shop Squad right now. This is a shirt that I originally made when my good friend Brody Stevens passed. Uh, I made a bunch of shirts. I just... The next day, I just bought, made a bunch of shirts, and I handed them out to Brody's family, his friends, comedian friends, and stuff like that. I just gave everyone free shirts, and ever since then, people have been like wanting this shirt, uh, and I've been kind of weird about it because, uh, you know, just selling a shirt and stuff like that with Brody, I, you know, I, I've just kind of said no to it. But now I've been seeing all these people wearing bootlegs of this shirt and I saw one at Skankfest. I came up to it and go, I, I looked at it and I'm like, that's not one of, the, one of the shirts I made. This is a, a complete bootleg and not even just like the same idea. They did the same wording and everything like that. So I reached out to Brody's family, asked uh, what I could do to get people who want this shirt the shirt and not feel creepy about it. So I am selling a small amount of these shirts and I am donating the profits to uh, Brody's families. Uh, they had a preferred charity, which is Comedy Gives Back. Uh, and I am going to just do this very limited run of these shirts so that people that wanted this shirt uh, or fans of Brody could get this shirt and the proceeds go to a good cause. Uh, so this is the shirt. Brody Stevens, positive energy. You got it. I know it's backwards. But that's what it says. And, uh, you know, it's based off the old Dare shirt. Uh, so it's uh, on, on the website right now for a limited time. But if you guys can wait till tomorrow to order it, uh, right now the shipping, for some reason, on the website is completely crazy for anyone ordering it within the United States. Uh, the shipping is just super expensive for some reason. And I don't think... I know the prices for shipping for USPS has gone up a little, but not this much. I think it's like saying it's like $16 right now or something crazy like that. So uh, if you can just hold off till we should have it fixed by the morning. Uh, but you can get that uh, right now if you want to. But there's a limited amount of these. So uh, they will probably sell out pretty soon. But just wait till tomorrow so you don't get screwed on the shipping. Uh, and if you guys want to order it now, you can, uh, unfortunately I have no way to fix that. So if you order it, then you're just paying an extra cost for this shirt. Uh, cheers everybody. It's my first drink of the morning, I guess it's the morning. <laughs> uh, yeah. Um, ugh. I need more orange, but anyways, there you go. Um, also, there is a, another Death Squad shirt that will be coming out in about a month, and I'm very excited to show you this shirt. 
Um, I've kind of hinted at it lately, um, but since you guys are uh, some of my undercover fans or fans, I mean, th I mean, this is a small group of you people, so I can I can show you what the next shirt is. Uh, let me see if I can find it real quick. Uh, this shirt is another shirt. I don't know if you've seen what's going on with me lately. I've been releasing a lot of stuff that people have been asking for, things that I stopped selling, I brought back. Uh, and uh, this is one of the, one of, another one of those most, uh, like people have wanted this for a long time. And actually, it's based on one of my designs. As you know, I design everything on Shop Squad. Uh, but this is the first time that I have uh, a friend of mine uh, drew something for me. And uh, he said I could make it a shirt. And a lot of people, you've been asking this for a shirt for a long time. So I kind of redesigned it, kind of tinkered with it. Uh, this is the new Shop Squad uh, cat shirt that's coming out. Uh, I call this uh, Toxic Cat or Slimer Cat. Uh, this is, you might have seen this for a few years floating around. Uh, so it's finally going to become a shirt. And the cool thing about it is I am getting it done on a high quality shirt, like higher quality shirt. And I'm getting the uh, Discharge ink uh, on it, uh, which is a more expensive way to, instead of printing a shirt where you can feel like the plastic in the front of the shirt where they've screen printed it, this is actually, they bleach the shirt and then recolor the actual dye in the shirt. It's a more expensive process. Usually most people don't ever get this process because it makes the shirt so expensive. But what you get is a soft shirt. You can't feel the, the print on the front, it lasts longer, it's cooler, it looks it looks better. I've done this with a few of my old shirts in the past, Death Squad shirts, and uh, they've always been super, uh, uh, people love those shirts. And the, the reason I don't do it to every shirt, it's just too expensive because it's, I think, you know, it's about average, about five to six dollars more a shirt for me to make uh, which then I have to push the, the cost on to it. So a lot of people don't like expensive shirts. They just want cheaper shirts. So uh, this is going to be a higher quality shirt. This should be, I would say, in about a month because uh, it takes longer for this whole process. It's not as easy. Uh, I have to like really work closely with the printers and stuff like that. Um, but look for that shirt. The new Death Squad Cat shirt should be coming out in the next couple weeks or month or whatever like that. Uh, so there, there we go. There's, there's my deal. Also, uh, if you live in uh, Austin, Texas, uh, this Thursday, we got a secret show, blcomedy.com. That's biglaughcomedy.com. Uh, so what's up, guys? Um, uh, are the Skankfest Kill Tonys being released on YouTube? Yes, they uh, they will eventually. At least one of them will be released. Uh, we filmed two of them. One of them we might keep uh, as an emergency episode. Like we might release it in the future, uh, just because it wasn't. A, it was just a clusterfuck of an episode. Everybody was fucked up on mushrooms and wasted. It was it was like 10 p.m. is when the show started on Skankfest Friday, and it's an all day festival. So it's just wasted people everywhere it was not funny it was not fun we all hated it uh so we might release that in the future i don't think we're going to release it anytime soon but then the episode with lewis j gomez uh and uh big j okerson that will be released i'm guessing in like two weeks uh but yeah do you sell the merch at those shows, um, I don't, but I might have an ep I might have a show where I do bring my merch once, because um, I know I have a lot of merch I want uh, to like just odds and ends that I want to get rid of, and so uh, maybe I'll, I'll in the future I'll announce a show where I bring a bunch of merch uh, so that you guys can save on shipping and stuff like that and get some some uh, one offs and like rare stuff that I, I don't have on the website. 
or mugs or something like that. Maybe I'll just bring a little bit of everything. Um, I'd be scared to ruin it wearing it. It was cool to see Tony and Jeremiah on stage together. Uh, did you see Hans Kim almost die? Yes. I don't know if you guys saw that. I don't know if he has it on his Instagram. Let me see if I can find it on the Instagram. Uh, God damn it. I don't know. Have you guys lately noticed that every time you sign into something, it's making you like send a, a code to your phone number? Like, when did that start? Why is it every time I log into something, it's it's been uh, been making me do that? It's kind of getting really annoying. Um, let's see if you guys could see this. Does he have this? Uh, yeah, I think this is it. Um, okay, so let me show you guys this, uh, if I can. Of course, it's a annoying, what am I trying to say? It's an annoying uh, up and down video on his Instagram. So Hans Kim was driving and he, he was driving and a car runs a red light and check out his reaction time. I just thought that was really impressive reaction time for anybody. Uh, but uh, yeah, let's see if I can get some audio. So check this out. Look at that. I don't know why is there, oh, here, let me try to do a sound. <laughs> Still gonna be like a couple of crust punks milling about outside. You can actually hear, like he he he's, he lives in a van, like van life stuff style. So you can hear him slam on the brakes so hard that everything in his van just flew towards him. You could hear all the shit falling down. I mean, how fucking crazy is that? Uh, let's do that again, just so you guys can hear that. Still gonna be like a couple of crust punks milling about outside. I mean, look at that reaction time. That was good. That was good. We, we survived that. I mean, that he might be the best Asian like, driver in the that. whole entire world. Like one in. NASCAR one last time. I mean, that literally that looks good. like we an we inch uh, before he like, got hit. Really that's bad. impressive and crazy. Uh... Yeah, that's one thing I noticed when I was in Houston. That that happened in Houston at Skankfest. Uh, was that... Uh, well, one, Texas probably has some of the worst drivers in the world. Uh, just because they're all in huge trucks. They all drink and drive. There's more... Like, if you, if you were to go on the highway right now and take one mile of road and pull over anybody on that road, they're all gonna get DUIs. I mean, everybody out here is drunk driving, even beers in the car drinking. I mean, it's just crazy. And everyone has huge trucks. And so it's just like, the combination is so crazy. It's like one of the few times I'm glad I, li or I, I drive a Tesla Model X because it's like one of the safest cars in the world. And uh, I, especially around all these big trucks, like it's, it's a fucking danger zone out there. Um, oh yeah, shout out to Yonder, Yonder Wizard. Uh, he has COVID and he uh, posted some shit. I think he's, I think uh, he's getting a, what is he, what did he say he was getting? Uh, I think he's getting an infusion. Uh, I think, I don't know where he is. He's like in some kind of tent. Uh, here, I guess I could show that too. Uh, yeah, he's, he's getting in, he's in some kind of tent, uh, he's getting infused, I don't know what that means, infusion, I guess he's getting some, uh, some Rogan medicine, I think Rogan's helping him out, uh, but maybe he's getting some of that horse shit, I don't know, but, uh, everyone, think of Yonder, send him some love, uh, he didn't get vaccinated, I don't think. So, you know, that's 
I don't know what you guys think about Vax, but some people should get it and some people shouldn't. And I, I gave, if you, if you guys watched last night, we did a live stream, uh, virtual red band after Kill Tony. Uh, I also reviewed all the Nintendo Switch classic controllers that recently came out. So if you have a Nintendo Switch, I unboxed all of them, including, let me check this out. How cool is that? Uh, there's also this Sega Genesis one. I mean, what? <laughs> Nintendo released the Sega Genesis controller for Nintendo Switch? I mean, mind blown. I mean, if you're an older guy, gamer, you realize how crazy that is. Anyways, last night, Yonder was actually playing with us. And, uh, you know, we talked about him getting COVID, not getting vaxxed and so hoping uh, Yonder's going to be good. I mean, if he's if he's getting hooked up with Rogan, uh, Rogan's staff. Rogan has a whole staff of doctors and nurses now, you know. So uh, I think he's going to be uh, okay. Brian, your cameo on the new Trash Tuesday was a funny surprise. Didn't you, didn't know you and Tony were Eskimo brothers. Your cameo on Trash Tuesday. What's Trash Tuesday? What is Trash Tuesday? I don't know what that is. Oh, is that Lil Esther show? It's called Trash Tuesday. Is that on YouTube? Oh, okay, I guess it is. Trash Tuesday. Wasn't that called something else? Did they change the name of their show? Uh, I have to check it out. <laughs> yeah, she called me. That was funny. Yonder doesn't believe the vaccine works. Okay. Um, I believe it works. I, I am, I think people should get it. So I'm not on that team of uh, denial. I'm more in the, the team like, who gives a fuck? Just get it. I don't give a shit. I got it. I don't remember even getting it. Do I have it in me? Who knows? What, you know? I still haven't got COVID. I'm fine right now. If I get it, I'm sure it'll be not as bad as if I didn't have the vaccine. Um, yeah, but who gives a shit? I'm not talking tax. The vax is killing people. Yeah, you know, so is COVID. Uh, yes, I think it was bloodbath. Looks like it came out, wait. Yes, I think it was bloodbath. Looks like you came out better than Esther. Kayla gave her and Annie thermometers in the butt. No shit. Man, they're all trying for that shock content, aren't they? You got like Scissor Brothers and you got like uh, these guys just trying to, trying to do the shock content. I love it. Uh, there's been some classic JREs lately. Uh, I got the... AstraZeneca and the worst I got was a fever on the first shot. The second shot I felt nothing. I was I was exactly different Letus, Leapus. Uh I got a Pfizer, first shot, nothing. Didn't feel nothing. Even the shot, I didn't even feel the, like when they gave me the shot, I was like, did you do that? Really? Second shot, I felt it. I was like, ah, I felt that. And I felt I thought I got COVID the same day. Like I I had I felt like I had all the symptoms of COVID uh, for like two days. I, I was tired, I, I, fucking body aches and all that crap. Uh, but it was only two days long. But uh, yeah. Um, thoughts on antibodies? Uh, I think they're pretty cool. I don't, I don't know what I'm supposed to say. Do you think you'll attend the University of Austin? What? La Jolla Comedy Store has openings for Kill Tony. Mm. All right, hey, hey, Greg, do you know, is the Comedy Store La Jolla open 100% yet? Like, is it 100% max CD, like seats, all the seats are open? Because there's no, no, there's just, it's just stupid for us to go anywhere. Half the places I want to go, it's like, oh, we're at 70% capacity now. And I'm like, that's not 100 
Hans Kim shared a set opening for Rogan. Why doesn't William do that? Uh, Jamie, a lot of people don't want to put their sets on YouTube, you know? Uh, I'm one of those people. That's why if you try to look up a set for me, it's very hard to find if you can even find anything. Uh, because I don't want my sets on there. Uh, I think Jay Leno made a good point. He was interviewed about this. Uh, but a lot of people, that's their set. And if they're going to put their set online or they're going to put it on YouTube, might as well get paid, right? Might as well have it as a special or, you know, or Netflix or Hulu or whatever. Like, why, why, like, throw it out there for free? And then when Netflix comes to you, they're like, well, it's already out there for free. It's not, you know... It's kind of like, uh, it's pretty stupid. It's, it's when people put their spots, I mean, I get Hans puts it up because he doesn't give a shit, but a lot of comics think of it as like, oh, you, you know, it's like leaking a movie. Imagine somebody leaked the new Ghostbuster movie on YouTube, a bootleg of it. And then you watch it. You're not going to want to go to the movie theater and watch it again. Right. You know, a lot of people, including myself, believe in that. I don't like putting sets on there. Somebody wants to pay me, I'll, I'll do like an hour special eventually. And then you could fucking, I get paid and you guys can pay to watch it. I, you know. I'm, also, when you go to a show, like if I put all my sets up on there and you go to a show, you're going to be like, I, I've already seen this, you know, so. Um, what do you think of the city of Houston? I like it. I don't. It's uh, the traffic is some of the worst traffic I've seen since living in Los Angeles. Like I would put Houston traffic almost. And I don't know if maybe that was just because that weekend it was crazy in Houston or what. But that was some of the worst traffic I've seen. Like I mean, even even like compared to L.A. traffic, Houston traffic fucking sucks. And I was having a miserable time with all that traffic. Fuck that traffic. Uh, other than that, Houston seems very ghetto uh, and seems very uh, dangerous. Like my citizen app was going off every like 10 minutes. It reminded me of being, uh, being in Los Angeles. Every 10 minutes, somebody shot, uh, somebody mugged, somebody stolen car. Like uh, it did. It, yeah, uh, man. Other than that, living in Houston, like you get hit by hurricanes all the time. It's always flooding. My ex-girlfriend, her house has been f flooded three times in Houston. I'm like, get the fuck out of there. Why do you keep on getting your house rebuilt because it's flooded just to have it flood again? Like, it, it drives me crazy. I don't understand it. I think, I think in Texas, while I like Houston and I like a lot of things about Houston, I think uh, I would rather live in Dallas. If I couldn't live in Austin and had to pick one other place, I would I'd, I'd choose Dallas. And then after that, I would probably choose as gross as this sounds, I'd probably choose San Antonio before I would move to Houston. I think Houston's just a train wreck of a city. And I think it's mostly the traffic that bugs me. You didn't hear about the University of Austin. No, I didn't. I don't know what that is. Um... They say with your first shot of antibodies reach 61% and they pretty much cover you. Uh, yeah. What's the song, that outro for Kill Tony? I should have, and, yeah, that's, you shazammed it and it didn't come up for a reason. Uh, that's actually Katamari. It's a Katamari song uh, from the video game Katamari. Uh, I chose that because it's a happy, fun song. And a lot of times video game music, uh, it's okay to use in videos and stuff like that because no one gives a shit. Um, are you talking to me? Uh, La Jolla has been open fully. Oh, that's good to know. Brian, are you still in touch with Billy Bonell? Can you get him on Kill Tony again? Uh, I love Billy. I haven't talked to him in like a couple weeks, but uh, I talked to him here and there. Would you ever consider Kill Tony twice a week? Twice a week? Twice a week when Rogan's Club opens? No. Uh, I don't... I, 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 there's no reason for it. Uh, we did... Four episodes of Kill Tony in a week this week. Uh, we did two at Skankfest, one last Monday, one today or yesterday. And it was too much. Like, we get brain dead, man. It's not fun. It's not fun. That's a hard show to do uh, multiple times a week. Like, we all get, we got, we get, we get fried. All of us get fried. 
it's not as easy as just doing like a, a random podcast, especially for Tony. Tony's, you know, when he's doing Kill Tony, he's constantly writing and his jokes in his head and stuff like that. It's, I mean, to be that sharp and on top of it, you don't want to, you don't want to kill it, overdo it, in my opinion. Um, University of Austin is a new private startup college with evil Larry Summons and other Rogan guests. Oh, I don't give a fuck. Uh, I like what Ari did making his 2012 special free. Well, he, you say he made it free, but he also got YouTube revenue for it. I mean, that's pretty ballsy. Uh, he just put it up so he can get YouTube revenue. So he still got paid twice for it now. He, he got paid when he made it. And he got paid again on YouTube. So it's not really free. Uh, I like in Europe and Kill Tony is literally the last show that, I, that feels authentic. And I get a vibe of wanting to go to a club and have fun. Here, it's over. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Okay. Thanks, RB. Hans has... 2,000 views on that Rogan set. It was a smart move. Uh, have you ever hung out with Lex Friedman? Saw him on the Kill Tony audience a few times. Uh, yeah, I've actually had barbecue with him. Uh, he's been to Kill Tony. Uh, I've met him a few times. Uh, I don't know anything about Lex. I don't watch... I don't... I know it sounds crazy. I don't really watch every episode of Joe Rogan. I pretty much just watch the comedian episodes. Um, I know a lot of people don't like Lex. A lot of people are against Lex. Uh, but other than that, as a person, as somebody that just knows him from, hey, how's it going, man? And like small talk, he's a nice guy. So I don't really know what he stands for or what he believes or anything about him. You could tell me that he's the president of an ice cream company. And I'd be like, oh, okay. Uh, I have a feeling he's not. I, like, I think, isn't he like a, a political guy? Like, he talks politics and stuff. I have no idea. <laughs> isn't that crazy? I've probably hung out with this guy like four times. I have no idea what he does. Uh, I like how he dresses, though. He's always dressed, he always dresses like the Matrix. Uh, Gen genuine question, what's wrong with San Antonio? I don't think there's anything wrong with San Antonio. San Antonio is my mom's favorite city in Texas. Uh, I do know the couple of times I've been there, my mom has over-talked it so much, but then I went there and it seemed really ghetto. Of course, it's probably just where I went. It just seemed like, I don't know, blue-collar ghetto. You know, like... Nothing wrong with that. It's just, you know, it, it just, it seemed like, uh, it seemed like rough around the edges. Does that make sense? Like, it, it, I don't know. It's probably not. It's probably fine. Uh, I don't have a problem with it. Like I said, I'd rather live there than Houston. Uh, but Austin, I like Austin. Austin is just very artsy. Uh, very, uh about music and art, you know, I like that better than whatever San Antonio stands for. <sighs> Fun fact, Houston is the fourth largest city in the U.S. Well, man, it has the traffic like the fourth <laughs> largest city in the U.S. Do you remember what year you started Death Squad, Rob? thank you for always keeping the good vibes. Also, thank you for all your hard work over the years. The word, uh, what year did I start Death Squad? Um, here, I can tell you right now. Let's see. What year did I start Death Squad? Um, I don't know if this is correct, but it looks like August 1st, 1st 2009 was my first post ever. And it was the pilot episode of me and Joey Diaz's new podcast. We talk about cats, Eminem, Mariah Carey, dogs, Michael Jackson, weed, UFC, and we call Ari Shafir. Uh, so yeah, I think it's, if, if this is correct, I would say August 1st. 
in my first episode was uh, a thing that we called podcasts. I think. Oh wait, this is not even that. This is just called Desk Squad Number One. Huh. I don't even know what this is. I actually don't even know what this is. Because <laughs> uh, I, I do know that me and Joey used to do a podcast called Podcats, where it was just a podcast uh, of us talking about cats. And then Mark Marin, uh, like 10 years later or something like that, uh, released a podcast called Podcats. And I sent Mark a message. And I'm like, you know, I, I have a podcast called Podcats. <laughs> um... Saw you on Trash Tuesday podcast. There's another person. I all right. I gotta. I gotta watch this. I guess. Christina Mariani is low key hilarious. How is her material in longer sets? She does really good. Like uh, I have her on the Secret Show a lot. I might have her on this week actually. She does really good. Very. Uh, like a cute little girl with a quiet voice saying horrible things. And it like really makes people like do that laugh where they don't want to laugh, but they're like, Oh my God, what the fuck? You know, type laugh. She's great. I love her. Um, all right, let's get through some of these comments and then it's, it's already 35 minutes. All right. I'm gonna go through these real quick. Uh, press like for pigtails. That's right. Hit that like button. Subscribe. Hit that bell. Smash that bell. Uh, the Asian lady was hilarious. Sorry, I forget her name. Um, but you do Nicole Tran. Yes. Uh, I think uh, get Tim Dillon on. Michael Lair had the joke of the show. Brian, you watch old episodes from JRE? I don't watch any. Uh, no. Uh, I get, I, I, it cringes me. Like, I, I don't like watching myself. I absolutely don't like watching myself on early episodes of JRE just because that was a different time. We were just stoned. We weren't really taking it seriously as much. And it was just me and Joe fucking around. And now looking at it, it just, ugh, I, I don't, I don't know. delete. Uh, what was the biggest changes in your life since you moved to Texas? Um... Better quality of life, uh, happier, around nicer people, uh, less traffic, uh, doing more comedy, uh, doing more shows, um, better food, uh, better living. I mean, my fucking house, I fucking love my house. I don't even want to leave my house. I love it so much. Um, everything's better. Uh, the, the negatives, uh, not being able to go to a marijuana store. But still, not a problem. Everyone out here smokes weed. It's decriminalized. Uh, Delta 8 is now legal again, I guess. What do you think will happen at Vulcan Gas Company when you guys go to Joe's Club? I'm sure it's still going to kill it. It's still do comedy. I'll still probably do shows there. Who knows? Uh, Lex Friedman's the AI guy. Oh, artificial intelligence guy? That's cool. That makes sense. MIT dude, I think he works on robotics. Oh, fucking sweet. I didn't know that. Why do I... Maybe I'm getting him com confused with somebody else. That's awesome. Um, does William Montgomery read his jokes on notes at the comedy shows? He headlines. Yes, he does. Uh, we've been all yelling at him for a while to stop that. He's trying, I guess. He's working on it. Since getting a black belt in jiu-jitsu, he changed his name to Flex Reedman. Okay. Um... Man, Houston traffic is wild. You got to drive through it. Get well soon, yonder. Uh, did you start Death Squad before or after the... Who? I don't know who Kimmer Rogue... Rogue? I don't know who Kimmer Rogue is. Sorry. Uh... I got Sir Michael Lair, a bunch of Voodoo IPA. Christina Sim DM me and told me to take my art down of her. What? Are you serious, Future Nobody? Hey, Future, will you... Uh, wait, what? <laughs> she told you to take down the art? What, what was her reason? That's hilarious, Future Nobody. How are you doing, Future? 
I got to send Michael there. I got read that. Kill Tony opened my eyes. Someone said, like, what? Intardation is Delta 8. Google it. I literally promote Kill Tony to random people. Awesome. Uh, alert to weaker than regular weed, but stronger than CBD. Yeah, Delta 8 is awesome, actually. If you live somewhere where it's, weed is illegal, you can legally buy Delta 8 in most states. Um, and I tell you what, it's it's a cleaner high, I think, than like edibles, like regular marijuana edibles. Like if you have a little bit of Delta 8, like I have some gummy bears and stuff like that. Uh, and it, it fucked me up. Like I felt like I felt more of a Molly high, like a body high than I do with uh, regular marijuana edibles, at least with 3 Chi. Check out 3 Chi, use coupon code Kill Tony or something. Uh... Christina's telling me to stop showing. Will I test positive? No, no. I don't think so. I mean, you maybe Google it, uh, but I don't think you'll test positive for marijuana because it's not marijuana. Uh, all right, guys, that's enough. We've done 40 minutes. I think that's longer than any time we, we've ever done. All right, so right now we are going to go into virtual reality. Right now I'm at a putt-putt golf course. I don't know if we're going to hang out here or not. I just picked it because it's nice. Uh, but this is your five-minute warning. In five minutes, we'll be back in virtual reality, and I'll be I'll be uh, fucking playing around here, you know? I'm windy right now with big tits. Uh, so this is your five-minute warning. In five minutes, we'll be back in virtual red band. This is a good time to go grab a drink, go take a piss, go uh, turn this on on your uh, Apple TV in your bedroom and lay down. Turn this on in the background while you look at TikToks or you post on social media. It's a good background noise show, meaning you don't really have to pay attention. Just put this on in the background and you'll look over once in a while and be like, what the fuck are they doing? All right. So this is your five minute warning. In five minutes, we'll be back in virtual reality. I right? Uh, where should we go today? You know what? Let's let's check out MC Chris. If you don't know who MC Chris is, go listen to him. Go download his music. He's nerd rap. He's a good friend of mine. Here's some MC Chris. I filmed this at an MC Chris show the first time I met him. Here we go. Rise and stretch time. Time to refresh yourself and visit our snack bar. Got a yen for hot popcorn? Your favorite soft drinks are sparkling cold. The juicy Frank sizzling hot. There's delicious coffee freshly brewed. And all kinds of ice cream and candy to tempt you. Showtime will be announced loud and clear to get you back to your car in time. So stretch your legs. Come to the snack bar now.
What's up, dude? How you doing? Pretty good, man. Uh, <clears throat> a little more stopped up today than I was, but I yeah, did. I would take. I would take this over the last couple days. So for sure, much better. Well, happy yeah. and, uh, what's what's the word? Uh, ex like yeah, like an expectorant. Like you're getting rid of all that like, flammage shit that's maybe your body. Right. Flushing right. all that shit out. You know, that's good. Get all juiced up on that monoclonal antibodies and whatnot. That's it. <laughs> yeah, yeah dude. Uh, Thanks, man. Oh, what's up, boys? Hey, man. How are you feeling, Yonder? What's up? Hey, man. Much better today, dude, after I got that infusion. That's cool. I was just telling Bob, I'm a little more stopped up today, but at least there's no fever or anything. Right. What'd you get? What's the infusion? You just got a vitamin drip? Um, or did you it, get like the horse called, shit? Think, yeah. Um, no, nah, it was called the mono, uh, monoclonal antibodies or whatever. Yanni actually sent me a uh, link, and then my buddy Boom, uh, I draw dicks on Instagram, also sent me the same thing. Uh, you, you probably follow that account, I draw dicks. If you don't, you should. But, uh, check it out, yeah. Yeah, he's awesome. But no, nah, they both sent me that, the same thing with the number to call to make an appointment, and it was right around the corner from the house. Nice. That's so cool. We're out perfect. How me much does that take you back? Off of both went zero dollars. Why? Okay. It was it was uh it was like a one of those free things that they do at the Texas Expo, the rodeo out there. Huh. That's cool. Hey, Bubba. Yeah. Up, Mark? Fucking awesome. Hey, do you, uh, have you lost your taste yet? What's up, Brian? What's up, Mark? Not yet. Oh, hey, Jay. Not yet. Here's a stranger. Hey. Look, he's back. What's up, Jay? Your mic might be off. Muted? Yeah, that's I'm eating. Oh. <laughs> Did you finally get all your shit back from the movers? Yeah. Yeah, I had to threaten to sue them. Was it da was it damaged? Uh, some of the boxes are roughed up, but everything looks like it's work working what, condition. Was this Pods or what was this? No, it's like a third party moving company. Oh fuck, that's yeah. I I, uh, I re saw too many nightmares on Yelp. I was like, oh, I'm just gonna go with Pods. Uh, that's yep. <laughs> work out. Yeah. Uh, did you get the COVID yet? If you do what I did. No, man. I got the vaccine. A vaccine. Oh, cool. I got the, uh, I think it was the Pfizer. Uh huh. And uh, then a coworker, like five months ago, gave me Delta. And it was like mild, like mild symptoms. So I feel like I got good, strong antibodies. So oh, I yeah. You're fine. <laughs> Have you got the second shot yet? Or yeah, you just get the true. first one? You were with us. The second one. But oh, I want to cool. get a booster shot, too. Yeah, I want to get a booster, too, once yeah, that's available. I'm getting the booster. I'll get all the shit. Give it. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> I still caught. I still called. I still caught the Delta. Like I definitely caught it. It was just like mild symptoms. Yeah. If you if you got the Delta on top of Pfizer, then you're like a super. You're super good. Yeah, man. Survive Skankfest. I uh. I, work out. I didn't see you in Skankfest, did I? No, you didn't see me. Yeah, I was just hanging out. Uh, special sets. Yeah, I, I got tested last time I did Rogan's uh, Nurse Mercy. You, you met Mercy. No, you didn't meet Mercy. Uh, but nurse, uh, the nurse uh, tested my antibodies, gave me an antibody test, and they were like, oh, your antibodies are thick. Like, you got, you're good. Like, you could mouth kiss somebody that has COVID probably. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Um, is this the same putt putt place we always go to? Because this was, I think there, or is there a new putt putt course? Because this came up as a, like a new level. This is, 
been updated. I saw on Twitter they updated. It's got this menu. If you like pull the triggers in front of your face, like spread out, you'll get the scoreboard. Oh wow! Oh, cool. That's cool. Whoa! That's cool. Look at this me though. I don't know if I really want to play putt putt right now. I just came here because I saw it. I was like, "That's cool." This is a really good level. I, I don't know if I favored this yet. I need to favorite this. Yeah. What's going on with you, Mark? Anything new? I've uh, just been uh, recording some stuff. I was I was trying to tell you last night I had the flu after Halloween. Uh. And it was like a stomach flu, and I ended up in that Pflugerville hospital. Like, really? Uh, yeah, like four or five days after I had it. I couldn't hold anything down, and no liquid. What no was liquid it from? Did they say IV what? And... They say it was just a stomach flu? No, they, they said that there's some going around out here. That's why I messaged uh, Yonder. I was like, oh, maybe it's some that, you know, they, yeah. the doctors are saying. And uh, but you had COVID, but. Uh, yeah, that's just I had that knocked me down. I that. had the stomach flu maybe a month ago, two months ago. Nah, I don't even know how long ago it was. And I was I like just yeah. woke up puking, uh, shitting, puking. Yeah. Uh, but it only lasted like yeah. two days or so. But I didn't, I didn't do anything. Yeah. I just kind of stayed inside. Yeah, I would, I wouldn't have gone. I didn't have a primary care doctor yet out here, so I don't I ever have a primary that. care doctor. Do you guys have primary care doctors? <laughs> I, I'm one of those guys that always just goes to urgent care when something's wrong. Like I don't have like a doctor who's like, well, yeah. Brian, you know, come back in. We gotta just, you know, give you your. <laughs> I feel like I should have a primary care doctor, but I don't. If I had like yeah. consistent health insurance, I might have a doctor like that, but I. I haven't had health insurance in a few years, so I. I right. I've had um, I've had health insurance for 13 years. I still don't have a primary care doctor. I'm just like one of those guys. that's like, uh, something doesn't seem right. I'll go to the doctor. Or I got strep throat. Let's go to urgent care. Or I don't know. Yeah. What are you doing, Boba? Just you know, putting my. I'm so angry, uh, Jay. Tesla, oh, nice hat. Tesla has this thing where you can, like, they, they rate your score of your driving. And if you get, like, 99%, you can get the beta. Anyways, uh, I was hovering at 95 for a while. Then I got down to 92. And then I took that trip to Houston. Now I'm, like, 88. And it's so annoying because oh, wow. all the shit is based on hard braking and uh, following too close to somebody. And I swear to God, like, I'm, yeah, I, I'm just like, I drive so grandma right now just because of that score that it must be just fucked up. I'm so angry about it. Like, it's messed up. Yeah, yeah, it's messed up. If like somebody cuts you off and right. you disengage from that, it right. counts against you. Yeah. Like, it's not even on you. Like if they just cut you off, yeah. it counts against you. And I noticed like when I was driving, uh, like I have Tesla coming out to my house Friday to like mobile service to check on my car again. They've been out like twice in the last month. Uh because I, w I was driving in uh, autopilot and it slammed on the brakes like three times. One time I was driving William Montgomery and like he almost, he screamed like a girl. He's like, ah, like that. Cause we're just driving. No one's in front of us. And it just slams on the brake. And then it said like Ford collision detection, like popped up. And I'm like, there's no one in front of me. Like what is going on? Like, it's like all this, like, I think my sensors are fucked up or, or, or my computer's yeah. fucked up. I don't know what it is. Definitely some sensor issues. Yeah. It seems like it. Hey, what's up, Kay? What's up, Eon? What's up, man? What up? What up? Uh, uh, should we go somewhere cool? What's going on? Yeah. Um. Otherwise, I gotta get into VR to play, play this fucking thing. No, I don't. I don't really want. I just chose this place. I just wanted to see what's what's going on. Um. Let's see what's up. Oh 
Uh, how about we try this weird house? Portal. Oh, wait. No, that portal is in... <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Alright, I guess we can still go to it. Alright, I guess I'll go into this too. Oh, wow. This is nice. All right, I want to turn on tree, turn on trees, turn on billards, turn on fireflies, turn on chairs, ambient sound, yes, yes, music. How do I turn off the fucking music? Uh, turn off the stupid music. Wait. Yeah, on the wall. How do I turn off the music? Uh, the hit the volume, like the actual speaker logo, and then I'll mute it. What the hell? You're right. It like you're no, it's this. it's not. It, it just went away. All right. I don't know what the fuck is going on here. I'm just gonna turn down the music then. Terrible step here. This is fucked. Wow, this new menu I'm not used to. Wow, I love the debug settings. That's cool. Getting 100 frames per second. That's cool. Music, here we go. World is a vampire. Whoa. Yonder went into the ocean. Oh, now he's trapped. I wanted to see if it had that cool underwater effect, but it doesn't. Oh, poor Yonder's dead. The water just disappears. This, yeah. this place is pretty cool, though, so far. It's really yeah. fucking nicely finished. Like, the textures are beautiful. And this is like a new check level. Out the upstairs with those beanbag chairs. Yeah, this, there's uh, billards upstairs if you hit turn on. Oh, that's a nice... Well, that's like really annoying to play pool. Somebody doesn't understand how pool works. <laughs> this is somebody that's never played pool before. That's hilarious. I, I want to see somebody try to play pool on this, see if it actually is even possible. I mean, I'm sure it'll be fine, but it's definitely... When you have unlimited space to work with, like... Make, you know you're creating this right <laughs> i think you'd give a little more maybe outdoor patio th oh, with this yeah. on yeah right that's silly jay when did you uh get to skank fest why didn't i see you there did you come to my show on saturday night yeah, I was there at the Saturday night show. Oh, really? And uh, Death Squad show. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's, what, that's what I'm talking about, the Death Squad show. Uh, yeah, that was great. Why did you say it. hi? That's craziness. I was still like, we were running to get in line for other things, too. Mm. I wish I did stop by and say hey. I said hey to William. I don't even remember how my set was. That was, uh, that was a night. <laughs> that was crazy. That Kill Tony was awesome. If you guys are releasing that in two weeks. Oh, know, yeah. Be, uh, blown away. It was a good one. The Big J black person voice, I think, was one of them. You on the soundboard? Do yeah. You music? You're on point. Bro. Yeah. And I think. I said. 
It, that's a top five moment in Kill Tony. Yeah, history. and I think I think that I'm, I'm, a, I'm a kill official Kill Tony historian. Right, I know that's that's a top moment. I think that episode also really awake. See, the problem is I used to do that shit all the time, and then when we got a band, like when Jeremiah and everyone started like playing, and now that we have a re- real band, I think I stopped doing that as much because it was like the band always just overpowered me, and I'm like, well, I guess I'm not gonna do that. But that was like a good, like, oh, we don't have a band, so I have to be on top of my iPad game. And I think that was me, like, actually going back to my roots and, like, really, like, fucking around with the iPad like I used to. It's not working for me either. Oh, this is just for looks? This is a fake pool table? I don't even see the pool table. Yeah. You got to turn it on downstairs. It's on the wall. Oh, downstairs. Um, yeah, this is this is a level that's in Community Labs, meaning this is just released. So, I mean, just release is pretty good, but got to do something with that pool table, though. Yeah, get that shit fixed. There it is. All right, well, if it's not working, we should just get the fuck out. Wait, what's in here? A bedroom? Ah. Hey, there's, uh, there's some beanbags so you can watch me and my girl f- make love. Yeah. This is where the magic happens. Yeah. That's right. That's right. Um, all right. Well, let's go somewhere else. Uh, I like I like these like early levels that you can see like this could be good in the future, but I'm not going to favorite it. Um, here's something very creepy. I have no idea what this is, but the a- the the avatar alone makes me go. Let's just see what it is. It's probably going to suck, but. Why are all my worlds getting popped up weird places? Uh oh. Oh, it's that guy. I love this guy. Is that you, Sam Hyde? That's the guy from like TikTok, the like the guy in the wheelchair and shit. You know who that is? Yeah. He's off. I've seen this guy before, but I don't, I don't know his name. I, it's the guy from TikTok, right? Like, he's hilarious. He's uh, in a wheelchair and shit. He's fucking awesome. I love this guy. You guys know, ever seen him before? Yeah, he looks like Sam him. Hyde. No. Sam Hyde. Who's Sam Hyde? Maybe that. I don't know who that is. Uh, he's really funny he's on like TikTok. Funny TED Talk. Oh, no, it's not that guy. No, this is a guy that's, like, very frail-looking in a wheelchair, and uh, he's got a lot of issues, but, yeah, that's him. But he's hilarious. Oh, yeah, I know this guy. (laughs) You know that guy, right? Like, yeah. Yeah, yeah. He's, like, he's always making goofy, like, uh, like response videos and stuff. Yeah. Like like a girl be like, oh my god, I can't take this yeah, anymore. Like, I'm doing I'm doing this, and he goes, I'm in a wheelchair, bitch. <laughs> like, pull himself up to his wheelchair. Yeah, like, I'm actually disabled. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's good. It's funny that, that they have a world of, uh, for him. All right, well, this is uh, okay, I guess, but. <laughs> All right, let's get somewhere else. Where's K? Did we lose K? I saw him. Um, apparently, we did. There's something called the Mariah Carey Cave. Should we check that out? <laughs> no, no, not a Christmas cave. No, 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 no. I don't want that. Yeah, that's what that is. I don't want that. Uh, all right, let's go to a Jewish cozy home. Yeah. <laughs> this is for yonder. Well, <laughs> oh, this is Speaking a nice of Jewish cozy, cozy home, home. I watched the first three episodes of Curb, the new season of Curb, just a minute ago. Oh, yeah? Pretty good. So fucking good, dude. That's is like it? one of the only shows that is continuously great yeah i love that show Any good uh, cameos from comics um not 
Oh not shit! A, not so far. There's not like a a lot of cool cameos yet. Boba, use Vince your flame. Vaughn comes back, does the Funkhauser. Uh, Funkhauser is the best. Whoa, that's trippy. Well, Vince Vaughn played what was it? His knee, his nephew. Uh, oh yeah. Or something like that. I don't know. Yeah, it's fucking good. Yeah, I uh, I love Curb, but I tell you one thing that I was a huge Curb fan until I met Je- Jeff Garland, and then it kind of ruined it for me. I got COVID brain. <laughs> can you taste? Um, yeah, oh, my mic's off. I can taste taste the the. Uh, I loved I loved Curb. I loved Curb. It was one of my favorite shows until I met Jeff Garland. And then I was like, oh, I don't like it anymore. I know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, all right. This place sucks. Uh, <laughs> let's see. Uh, let's go to. Disappointed. Pretty cool upstairs here. Oh, is it bad? There's nothing. Oh. Yeah, it's really like a just moved in bare walls. But think of all the money they saved on uh, furniture. All right, let's go to. Yeah, that part, right. <laughs> Whoa, this is all right. Let's go to a no. Yeah, some of these community labs places are ridiculous. Um, all right, here's a place, but let's go there with people. Still has one. I love I the you. idea of being crushed. Yes. So Holy shit! I don't want to try it. For your oh my god! Is this your world? Find some that aren't like. That. Yes. Hi. Uh, Hello. Hello. Did you make it? I don't like you be blinking. I uh, I uploaded it. Yeah. That doesn't mean you made it. Uh. <laughs> I like the high ceilings. Nice. <laughs> It's good high ceilings. Good shadow work. How dare you disable my jump? Oh, there's no jump? I don't know how to not, I don't know uh, how to not make it. Oh, you gotta have how jump. Dare you? It's a Wednesday. It's Thursday. It's Wednesday. It's Wednesday. Oh, look at this open kitchen design. I, well, it's not that open, I guess. Oh, my God. Yeah, it's Wednesday night. Yeah. I just looked fat behind me, and there's like your future. 500 people. <laughs> Oh, this wow, this looks like a fluffy bed. I wish I could jump on it. Can't jump on the bed. Oh, wait. How did you do that? Oh, there's a glitch on the corner. Yeah, still no jumping on the bed. Can't jump on the bed. Oh, you can do it. <laughs> Yeah, you're gonna mount it via the corner. <laughs> yeah, there's a glitch on the corner. I love seats. So I love to like sit in my seat. I'm still inside learning. The seat. I'm. I will probably uh, re-upload the world and shit. But I spent the whole day because like this house is normally dark. Because the creator yeah. intended it to be dark, and yeah. I added light. It's just horrifying. I like it. And, uh, it's very nice. I just. It's I like the way that your avatar. It's, it's frightening. Mm-hmm. Look at the shadows of my nipples. I do like it. It is really cozy. Well, I saw the nipples. It's the hands that are creeping me out. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sitting down. Uh, <laughs> how do I sit down? It's easy. You just bend over and sit on something. No, I, I like when I put my put my wrist down like this. It's on my lazy boy. There's no jump. I hate the no jump thing the most. The real world really exists in this one. As you can see, I'm a paraplegic of the arms. Yes. I to it's all right. Off the balcony. There's just too many witnesses. You're lucky. 
for now. <laughs> what the hell? Uh, can he go outside? Trying to yeah. mm -hmm. Cold. Nope. No, like there's, a place, so like there's a basement? Stuff. Where's a basement? I want to see a basement. Mm -hmm. I haven't seen a basement since I moved from Ohio. Oh, fuck yeah! Basement! Wait. The basement room. Oh, this is great. What is this? A poof? Is this a beanbag? Oh, I can't jump on it? Oh, there we go. Oh. There's a lot of wow. this is nice. Oh, there's a mirror in here. That was a great idea. Mm -hmm. I like it. I gotta do this in real life. This is great. How do I grown get that adult. mirror? There we go. For the tent. Yeah. Hey. That's true. Yeah. Gun no down. feather pillows, man. They they always irritate my dick hole. I could smoke inside, even though I don't smoke. Right on. Right on. I hump hey, this. Uh, Mad Max. I am. You're like right. the third person remember. in the entire time to know that. Wendy, why are your boobs so big? Me. Because oh, I'm a healthy Ohio, Ohio girl. He should just be Max. He shouldn't have a last name. <laughs> Understood. I don't know anything He's about just a man. It's a lot of corn. Those nuts, Mad though. <laughs> Get it? He's just a man. The, what? Those nuggets? Them chicken <laughs> spicy nugget dips. <laughs> the man that drove to spicy nuts. <laughs> oh man, I lost my vape. The fuck am I gonna do? Oh no. Said all day, huh? You lost your vape. All damn day. Oh, here it is. Just that, this under my fat that. stomach. <laughs> Cheers yeah, to your vape. I didn't know like I had to uh, bake the lights. I didn't know what that meant. So mm. I I I built the world and I uploaded oh. it locally uh. so I could see it. I almost died. Like, I added lights. What the hell? It's not working. And so I made this way. Way. Am I the only alcoholic here? Nope. So Come on now, like, partner. Oh, shit, I'm drinking. Them. So I baked them. Mm. Hell yeah. I, I just finished my bottle. Them, like, I'm about to switch to Jack Daniels right. next. And then they worked right enough. And then there's a whole ordeal. Wow. How did you, yeah. how did you learn that? Did you have to look it up after? Like when you didn't work? I've n I haven't had yeah, that YouTube one. That sounds good. Banging my head so you learned so best. much today. I did learn a lot. Now you're a nerd. I, ju I just finished my Hennessy. Now nerd. I'm sad. Now I have to Hennessy. Hennessy. This is a sad night. Oh, yes, please. Yes. At least I'm in the pool of folks. Oh, you know what I okay. <laughs> I don't know. Oh, I thought the one was good enough, but apparently it isn't. But now the store is closed. No, I have to. Can't you, like, it? Wait, you're the one that just drank all the Hennessy? I swear that I did. Wrong. What is that your go-to? Um, like you got, you gotta move on from Hennessy, buddy. <laughs> uh, my go-to is. I'll fix it. Uh, that's vodka. Vodka. Yeah. That's, that's what I'm drinking right now. Tito's and uh, Monster Energy drink. Oh, that's awesome. I thought Tito's was tequila. Yeah. No, no, that's vodka. Shit, I'm stupid. I might get tequila next. Tequila fucks me up. Yeah. Tito's is good though. Tequila is dark. Dark energy. You should not fucking mix any energy drink with alcohol. Oh yeah. The last Tito's bottle I got came with a little jacket. Yeah, I do. Get this place by the way. That shit is man. I did like a whole lot on fucking Jaeger. Ugh. I don't like Jaeger. Oh, no. Jaeger tastes yeah. like cough medicine. Yeah, I puked too many times on Jaeger. I'm done with it. And and it, and, and, and the, yeah, the shape of the bottle doesn't help yes, at all. It looks like one of those good, old timey uh, cocaine bottles that the Wild West doctors would sell you. That's true. Yeah, <laughs> 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 that's half the fun right there. Mm -hmm. I guess. Yeah, man. Hmm. Yeah, so you got two and three. Oh, partner, we got some medicine for you. This brand new Jaeger. Now it's yours. Change the assets. Also good if you got a coat. Mm-hmm. My new thing. I went back to Fireball. What's your new thing? I went back to Fireball. Oh fuck! Because when you're driving home, you could just say you were chewing gum. You know, the cops like, oh, all right. Yeah, neither am I. It's all right. Yeah, 
I'm, I'm, I'm definitely more rum. So what's your next? Uh, uh, ooh, you like Captain Morgan? That's Ew, another Captain Morgan. I can't seats. do that anymore. Oh, no. Hey, ah. don't deny the Captain. My my shit's Jack Daniels. Uh, that's my favorite. Uh, Tito's the, vodka the, 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 the and uh, uh, so crazy. This wild turkey. Is like... mm. I'm more of a whiskey person. I guess. Wild turkey. Wild turkey is a southern yeah, whiskey. Yeah, it's good with like Seven Up or uh, ginger. Wild turkey is me. Yeah, I haven't heard of that one before, so I'm gonna just do a Google search. Yeah, well, dude, <laughs> try it, and it comes in two varieties, like super strong or regular. But if you get Wild Turkey 100, I think it's called. I forget what it's called. But uh, you get that with ginger ale. Whiskey. Yeah. Wild Turkey whiskey. It's, um, it's sweet. It's like a sweeter whiskey, so it's good with ginger oh, ale. Oh, I, I passed it in the store. Okay. Try it out. I think I know what I'm picking Pretty up sad. next time I go. Yeah. And get the stronger one. Get the turkey one or whatever it's called. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. It's got cool hair and stuff. Yeah. What would you prefer drinking? Was it Jaeger? Yeah, yeah, and that. No. Hey, well, you got, they got different it. tastes. Cozy. What was the upstairs, too. I drink rum. Even the smaller little oh, cubby hole. Oh, you're a good yeah. old pirate, aren't you? Yeah, it's pretty sweet. Yeah. You just up, up there on the sea, like shooting a dream. All right. Yeah, like a little, uh, 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 let's go somewhere else. Oh. Oh, this place is called Projection. I'm interested. Portal. Jaybird. It wasn't too hard to find cool people. Jaybird. Portal. It wasn't really like a needle in a haystack. It was like. Uh, are you hearing, uh, whoa, are you right. hearing, uh, Aeon Flex's, uh, mic? I think it's a little loud. Like, uh, what? Um, I yeah, well, I just turned him down a little bit, though. Yeah, because I keep hearing it every time we're around him. It's him breathing, like, <laughs> oh, really? I haven't been around him lately, I guess. Hey! Hey, hey. how are you doing? What's up? Hello. Is that Blueberry Buttons? Blueberry Buttons! <laughs> Good to see you. Hey, Mark. <laughs> uh, my head's a little dark in here. Yeah, what, is, what are these things? Hello. Fog. Background music. All right, turn down background music, I guess. Cool. This, this background music Whoa. sounds like the load screen for all the worlds in VR. I got to turn up my world music, I guess. Oh, I just turned. Oh, wait. This is this like a movie theater? What is going on here? What is that? Is that a joint? That's a joint. No, that's an umbrella. All right. <laughs> yeah, it is smoky in here. So what is this? Just a world with a bunch of projection? Yeah. <laughs> All right. All right. All right. Well, this is uh. Reckon, I guess let's just all smoke real quick while we're in this projection world. Yeah, that's oh, a fuck good you. idea. That's a good idea. No, yonder, you should not smoke right now. You should. <laughs> What? <laughs> what? <laughs> Protect your lungs, what? baby. Protect your lungs. What? If you're not having problems with uh, breathing, I guess you're fine. But that's not Dr. Redband speaking. That's Dr. Drew speaking. Yeah, that's Dr. Drew speaking. <laughs> <laughs> wow, this is... This is uh this level is taking a hit on my frame rate and my processor. That's crazy.
We still lost K. Yeah, he he. Uh, right after you mentioned that earlier, I looked. He wasn't online anymore. Well, maybe a boomerang knocked him out, and uh, he fell to the ground. And uh, got in a boxing match with a kangaroo. Yeah, maybe all that happened. Swarmed by some wallabies. <laughs> Wallaby damned if that shit happens. Oh again. no! <laughs> Son of a bitch. Damn it. My bong is clogged. It's kind of a weird <clears throat> light effect. Yeah, it's like a projection. Bow, bow, bow. Oh, Janice just came out of her Harry Potter closet. If you guys don't... Hey! Hey! Come join us in hot dog. Yeah, your head hurts because you've been in your Harry Potter room the whole time. Were you in Harry Potter room? <laughs> Anybody uh, like magic? Um, Tiller is, Tiller is just the Nargles. Come join us. So what? I VR will help your head. Is. I'm thinking about buying my sister one because she liked using what I have. Oculus? Yeah. Yeah. I don't know if she needs the big memory one. No. You don't need Probably the big not. memory one, no. Nah. There's you like just literally your computer don't. and you can Yeah. Yeah, it's not worth actually it. Actually discontinuing the uh, 128. Yeah, I think they already did. To just 256. Yeah. yeah. I think just the regular $300 oh, ones <laughs> already been upgraded or something. <sighs> All right, one more hit. Well, it's going to be called MetaQuest now too, right? <laughs> no more. <laughs> I hate that. Name. Or not even Warner. Oculus. Yeah, yeah, that kind of sucks. Yeah. I think I, I like I like Oculus. Yeah. Yeah. Oculus is way yeah, better. Oculus had a good brand name for like with the product. It Heck yeah! Fit. Oh yeah, it's like the first know it. Oculus headset. I still have the beta Oculus headset that I got like ten years ago. Uh, yeah, I think it's kind of a mistake to do that. But well, they did that just to. Facebook's getting bad names now. It's hard to buy something, anything Facebook, right? Yeah. yeah that's true. I heard um, that Unity bought Wita today. Yeah. You guys oh, heard I, was, Wita? I was really surprised to see that. Yeah. That's, that's interesting. Isn't that, what's his name, the director's company that they used for yeah, Lord of the Peter Rings? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right. I think uh, they're trying to do what Unreal did. Let's go to a Japanese office. Hold on, I'm trying to do a portal. There we go. catalog this is a really nice graphics place the chairs actually move on their wheels a little bit wow this is a really nice graphics place look at this whoa what happened to boba he just flew out the room <laughs> <laughs> oh, <laughs> what happened, bad. Boba? <laughs> uh, this you is where people go to commit suicide. Grab the chair and then sit in the chair. Hey, Watch Jay, it, yeah. sit on that chair. Whoa, what? Oh. oh. Maybe it teleport you somewhere. I got some gold. Oh, sit on that chair. Sit on that chair, <laughs> Bo. Jaybird, sit on that office chair. Oh, you thank you, you little grab low eater. Sit on it. Sit on it, yeah. Sit on it. How do you sit on it? I don't know. Oh, not a okay, I see. Gun, I promise. Oh, yeah, but give me the, give me the. All right. Beep. Playing me. 
<laughs> there you go. <laughs> throw him. Everyone grab his chair and throw him. It's fine. I can't. You get to bend down. I'm in the floor. <laughs> Somebody help I'm him. He's in the floor. Either. Yonder will get it. He's stuck. Come on, Yonder. Get him. Er, there we go. Throw him out the window. Yeah, yeah me. There you go. Oh, no. Throw him out the window. <laughs> I'm rolling. <laughs> Toss me out the window. I'll do it. I'm trying. <laughs> Get out of here. Yeah. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> Bye. Oh, that's there you so go. Crazy. That's so funny. <laughs> that's funny. Wow, this place is cool. I like this place. This would drop pretty far. Nice bathroom. All right, what is, what is Boba's uh, game plan for this office situation? Wow. All right, that's women on women. Yep, <laughs> he's a scissor queen. Everyone said that Boba was a scissor queen for a while, but now I get it. All right, he's writing his second thing of the day to get the office energy of... Some Japanese uh, dookie? I don't know what it is. Yep. Wow, he's, he's his he's handwriting has gone downhill. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Come join us. We're in a Japanese office building. It's really fun. You can throw people around. <laughs> Boba's uh, telling us what to do. Because uh, he's our manager. Oh, he's doing double vaginal, double anal. That's what he wants. Uh, all right. Mark is the va vagina and in comes the anal. Let's see it happen. Let's do it. I got the gold. <laughs> 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 all right. Get in there. Get in there. Get in there. All right. Nope. Well, I saw already, but I, 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 uh, I'm lubed up anyway. I'm lubed up. All right. Oh, hey, Caillou. I love how the computers have the old school inputs on the back. Caillou's here, yeah. and I am a dork is here. Caillou. 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 Nope. Yeah, I loved the, like the old keyboard and mouse input, and then like everything was oh, color yeah. coordinated, like dummy proof. Jaybird's in character. Oh yeah, I love that. <laughs> that looks really real, doesn't it? Uh, the gold. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, I work here. Or something. No, my eyes are so close. That might be DVI. I don't know if that's. I no, I think that's DVI. Why do I blink so much? cable and then PS2 connectors. For the what do you want to know? I, I can tell you right yeah. now. That's this right here. What are you talking about? What do you need to know? But it is Japanese. Well, we. Saying we that's the monitor. DVI. That's the monitor. That's uh. That looks like a DVI, but the other side of the connection doesn't look like a DVI. I don't know. Uh, yeah. All these ports. VGA. Suck. VGA. That might be DVGA. They. Well, if, yeah. if it's Japanese, they had different standards too, right? Might right. Be different. Right. Scar art connector right. or something. I don't know. Is anybody European or on other YouTube? The garden hose. The first the thing US I would do today. would be to open this up <laughs> and clean it before. out, check the thermal paste. Uh, it's probably like, it's probably yeah. a hard drive soft we just got to reinstall so i'll try to back up all the information reinstall windows 12 on this see if it, this computer can handle windows 12 probably not uh yeah i'm thinking not and then i'll ask caillou if her dad can pay for new computers and then uh probably i'm guessing caillou's dad you think can it can run vr chat this can't no not oh, right not no yeah. no this can run uh <laughs> highly doubtful. duke nukem two gigabyte hard yeah, drive with like i'm guessing this is celeron megabyte ram i'm guessing these are celeron, celeron 380s yeah. that's where the worst oh i hated celeron 
Yeah, I'm Celeron was bad. Up to, up to they shoot. still make them, by the way. So, uh, <laughs> <yeah>. <laughs> Celeron. Not, not as bad. What's crazy? TV, but they had a bad reputation. What's crazy is Celeron, right now, you can take pretty much any cell phone within the last two years, and it would be faster than any Celeron <laughs> ever made. You know, like, <laughs> that's yeah. ridiculous. That's true. Uh, all right, let's go into the uh, other room. We're off work now. Uh, this is the manager's office. I am a Dorcas here. Uh, she's looking at her favorite YouTube channel. It's called YouTube Video and Live. And uh, <laughs> uh, she's. It's not live. No, no, this is where she learns all her favorite spam botting. Uh, <laughs> she, uh, she's just a small town girl created by a <laughs> software company. <laughs> Sloppy Joe's. If she was Japanese, I would say Ohio. Uh oh, here we go. <laughs> What is this? Oh, it's the hottest thing you've ever seen. Oh, here comes Tong. Go, Tong, go! Go, Tong, go! Go, go! Go, go Tong, go! Go! Here we go! Uh, I don't know, Tom. I like I I uh, I gotta turn down this volume, right? Oh, the volume doesn't work. I'm gonna have to use my own settings because I I don't want this in my life. Where 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 do I oh oh. going on tom how's your night yeah talk talk about your day to us uh why is your volume mic so low do it you do the hokey pokey it's pretty low you turn yourself around uh that's what it's all about i like how tong is dressed yeah that's a nice outfit tom Definitely didn't get that at Macy's. No. Yeah. It's specialized. You got that at the fish market, I'm guessing. They probably threw you threw it threw it to you when you were checking out. <laughs> <laughs> they didn't place it down after you paid for it. They were like, get out of here. <laughs> <laughs> I like the number nine there. That's a great nine. Yeah, especially if you minus hey. two of your holes. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Hey, what's up, Pink Bunny? Pink Bunny is here, and Sinner, Sinner Man is here, and... Oh, X? Konnichiwa. Konnichiwa. Ni. Ohio. Ohio. Go. Oh. Good H. I O. Slime. Go team. Nani. Famicon. <laughs> 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 Well, I, I called you all in here today because I have to tell you about our sales goals. I want you to sell as many hot dogs as you can. Get out there and sell. All right. <laughs> Let's do this, boys. <laughs> Come on. Hot dog time. I always be closing. All right. We got to cook all these hot dogs used in this kitchen. We got a Get microwave. We got, we got a stovetop. Somehow we have gas in here. That's cool. We have a sink. 
we have a All snack right, machine that we we can, oh we can get ramen here and then make hot dogs out of it using toilet paper. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> That'll work. All right, we need to get toilet paper, right. ta- toilet paper, and get some ramen. Go, oh, boys! Oh no, don't use cheesecake. Come on, get it going. No, 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 no. That's uh, that's our last resort. <laughs> that's our last. Re- that's our. That's our condiment. Oh shit! There's a lot on the ground, guys. All right, you gotta get yeah, that shit. Get some toilet out. paper or a sock. We gotta shave down the sock, make it a little bit thinner. That we would never sell a fucking hot dog with a regular cotton sock. If we have any pantyhose, maybe yeah, sweep it out into the bathroom. Start wrapping it up. Uh, I'll get the oven ready. I'm, we gotta cook in a in a coffee cup. Uh, you can get it at shopsquad.tv. Uh, this is what it looks like before. That's it. It's all there. Sold out. All right. All right. Well, let's switch to uh, right. them down. We got to get, get nope. some toilet paper. We got to find the bathroom. Oh, shit. What's going on in this? We got to find the bathroom. We got to get some fucking toilet paper. Here's the bathroom. Found it. Toilet paper. Uh, let's go to the woman's one. It probably smells better. Oh, shit. They're just peeing and shitting on floors in there. We don't want to go there. Uh, <laughs> oh, no. shit. God, what are Japanese people up to? Uh, there's no toilet paper. They just use, they, they eat it out. All right. Uh, their friends lick their butt. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, they've. They, they use those pixels. Yeah. That's <laughs> vagina untouched. That's why it's so tight. No. All right. There's no toilet paper in here. Always so much dirtier than guys' bathroom. Nintendo. All right, let's talk about this. All right, yeah. Boardroom time. All right, I'm going to put down this camera over here. And I'm going to set the end. Damn it, I can't do that. Oh, hold on. I can pin it, I think. Yeah, do the anchor. You guys haven't sold enough hot dogs. We're shutting down effectively this Friday. Hold on, I'm sitting at the end, Mark. What about... uh? Told you guys you needed... All those hot dogs. Now we got to close the company. Whose fault you is didn't sell this? Enough. I think it's all of sales. You ate them all. You ate all the hot dogs. You didn't sell them. You ate God your own damn product. it! Who ate all the hot dogs? Whoever ate all the hot dogs, you're out of here. You're fired. I'm sorry, uh, no I'll, severance. I'll see myself out. What, a, what about a pallet of hot dogs? Are we negotiating? All right, here? guys, 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 guys. <laughs> we need to get toilet paper in here. How are we going to make the hot dogs? Do we really want all our employees licking each other's assholes clean? I don't want that because every time I talk to them, they're like, Duh, sorry, boss. You know, but in Japanese, like, and I'm just like, no, I don't want to smell your fucking mouth anymore. So let's get toilet paper and then we can make our hot dogs and have better smelling conversations with our employees. Like last time I looked, we can get like a six roll at Albertsons for two sixty nine. If we all chip in 50 cents, we could buy a couple of those. <laughs> all right. Also, right there. Also, our employees do not have microphones, obviously. It, it, one guy has a microphone, but he's plugging his headphones in backwards. They're fake AirPods from like 10 years ago, like with a the cable. They're not even AirPods, they're like wire pods. <laughs> I think Cinnamon has something to say. Yeah, that's a problem. What? Yeah, I think he has a question. Oh, here we go. Speaking of the devil. Huh? Uh, do, is your microphone uh, some headphones that you've plugged into your mic port and you're going through your headphones? Or is your volume that low? Oh. Is that your lawyer? Did she put... I don't, I don't know. Uh, she put some candy down for us. Let me. All right, never mind, guys. Uh, this is just a, a microphone that he got at Radio Shack. Konnichiwa. Toilet. Microphone. Toilet. Training on that. Toilet. 
microphone. What's this like guy talking about? Steal our hot dogs. Toilet. No. Toilet no. microphone. Pay Pan treats. Toilet PayPal. <laughs> toilet PayPal. That's a good idea. I like toilet PayPal. That's a good idea. For Nissan for many wow. years. Wow. All right, my vice, the vice president of this company. I am promoting him right now as a, one of the best ideas. Uh, can, you, can you tell me what your new idea is? Sinner man, are you going to act like a vice president or not? What kind of, what do you want to make to this company? Money. Right. He has a great idea. PayPal toilet paper. What if bathrooms in the future you have to scan your phone connect it to your paypal address till you get toilet paper <laughs> anyways throwing toilet money on the table is about. something that is new around here and the new s vice president cinnamon 7788 figured it out stop throwing money on the table keep it in your pocket you gotta stop being so charitable come on you're out of control now, Sinnerman seven seven a eight. All right. Too many expenditures. All right, he's getting a blowjob right now with all his money. All right, let's go back to let's go back to Tong. Tong, if we make a ton of money, will you be able to upgrade your microphone? No. 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 Is that your mom? Mm. No. All right. That's somebody else. All right. All right. Well, we're happy to have you here at the company. Um, we hope that uh, you're able to buy a new mic with all the hot dogs that you sell. Yes. Th thank you. That's why we hired you. Yeah, uh, that's Blueberry Buttons, head of human resources. Uh, and that's what he has to say about it. Uh, let's take it to Mark Leota. He's the he's Jaybird's the engineer that built Mark in a petri dish with some black licorice. Uh, what do you have to say, Mark? A couple hot dogs. A couple hot dog juice. What do I have to say about what? What do you think about the situation at our business? I think the situation is just in peril. There's a lot of expenditures, a lot of overhead, uh, not enough, uh, you know, you know the thing, man. Do you think that <laughs> that most of our money is being spent on technology to mute the girl that keeps on talking? I think so, and also these uh, <laughs> expenditures on uh, cupcakes and fruit drinks and right, <laughs> yeah, unnecessary stuff. Like, look, no one's drinking <laughs> that. How much did that cost? Look at that cheesecake platter. That seems unnecessary <laughs> for a company that's charging PayPal toilet paper. Am I right? And then our our <laughs> vice right. president's just so throwing. Bad. Throwing, throwing ice balls and <laughs> and oh, he's juicing all over. Come on, juicing everywhere. I'm not uh, no, he's juicing all I'm over the place. Oh, the right. oh there's I'm corn, the candy corn. Oh, it's got some suntan lotion. Oh, I don't need that. I don't need that. I got olive skin. Oh, right when I said it. All right, let's uh, all right, let's move on, guys. We got to get out of this room. Uh, <laughs> Meeting yeah, over. I think some of these people are. We're gonna have to give them some time off. Yeah, we we gotta go. We gotta go into the basement. Paid leave. Yeah, I I, I didn't think things would escalate so yeah. quickly. Yeah. All right. Casual Fridays. So much jizz. So much jizz. Yeah, there was a lot of jizz <laughs> here. <laughs> there you ah! go. Ah! All right. Corporate life was pretty yeah. fun. That was a fun corporate life. <laughs> yeah, corporate life is awesome. Uh, let's. Can't wait to commit suicide. Hell yeah, let's all get corporate. Hell yeah. Uh, let's get get a company a bunch of money and get treated like leave. shit. Or uh, yeah, let's do that. Thank you for calling Ticketmaster, where American Express is the preferred method of payment. This call may be monitored for quality assurance purposes by a supervisor. This is Brian speaking. How can I help you? Oh, 
Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Forty dollars. Uh, Thank you for calling Ticketmaster, where American Express is the preferred method of payment. This call may be monitored for quality assurance purposes by a supervisor. This is Brian speaking. How can I help you? Hello, hello. Thank you for calling Ticketmaster, where American right. Express is the preferred method of payment. This call may be monitored for quality assurance purposes by a supervisor. This is Brian speaking. Uh, Aerosmith. Thank hmm. you for calling Ticketmaster, where American I Express is definitely. That was my life for three years. <laughs> and you just heard 30 yeah, seconds of it. <laughs> I think I was getting paid $6 an hour. I went there high on acid. Like, I did not give a fuck. I was like, what? If, I, I, I can't live anymore. I, 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 like, I started having a twitch. Dude, Brian, I, I worked at Geek Squad at a call center did the same thing <laughs> like geek squad you know <laughs> right and, and you know yeah the computer thing when okay. i was like 18 19 you don't want to play right now all right guys i i think i need to go get some more ice and then we should go somewhere else uh since we're all off work let's spend our money you know what i mean let's uh let's go on vacation you know what i'm talking about uh Let's go. Yeah. To, yeah. Beach. yeah, let's go. Uh, this is all we can. Hey, this is all we can afford, though, right? So this is our vacation beach. All right. <laughs> Sorry, it's in the desk. I didn't want to pay Let extra. Me... Wow, it's not bad. It's not bad. We didn't do bad. Cozy, secluded. Yeah, it's like very small. Yeah, this is very beach like. Definitely, uh. Oh, Jaybird just killed himself. Watch the edge. It's not bad. It's just like really small. I mean, you know. Yeah. Yeah, this is. I mean, at least it looks like That's we're funny. at the ocean. Jaybird died. I don't want to jump up. that. I, I can hear the ocean. Oh, no, don't do it. This might be a never-ending death. Oh, wait. Oh, wait. He's walking now. Uh, you just got to put, put the shell to your ear. Oh. 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 Hey. Yeah. hey. Is there a mirror? <laughs> wait. Much. Wait. There's a mirror here. Mirror. Wow. Oh, oh, wow. That's not bad for dying. Sweet. <laughs> All right, I guess it's beach. I guess it's time to smoke again and make sure Kay's not dead. All right, I'm looking at He's the obituaries in Austin. Oh, it hasn't been updated for four days. Uh, let me try uh, tagging him. Ta search by tags on MySpace. Nope. <laughs> Yeah, that's a good idea. Let's try the ring community status of Australia. All right, uh, boomerang. Guy has two boomerangs. All right, kangaroo with a oh, knife. Oh, uh, Steroid use and kangaroo up. No, uh, no, there's nothing about K dying. Um, let me look up gumbo. <laughs> I feel like if you just look up gumbo, something might happen. I don't know. Oh, uh, hold on, I gotta get some, uh, some ice. Hey, Tom, you made it. Welcome back. How's it going, Tom? Yeah. Good to see you. What's new? <laughs> How was your day, Tom? We stream, bro. We stream. Did you have a good day? Good. What did you do? What did you do, Tom? Maybe... Tech a little bit silly. Hmm. Real too. Okay. Yeah. Where'd you oh, have the hot dogs, Tom? 
Welcome to the beach. No, he doesn't have the hot dogs. Somebody else stole them. Hide him. Tom, Tom's an honest guy. I hired him. I know he's good. <laughs> Welcome, Tom. Welcome to the beach. Enjoy it. Enjoy it. You can see the water. Look, there's some starfish over there. And I, I see whales going by. It's beautiful. Where's the whale? Because we didn't make the sales quota, this is kind of like a, a, a limited uh, beach, so we're enjoying it. If you listen quietly, you can hear it. I hear the waves. Crashing of the ocean. See, see you can hear it. That's, that's the ocean. Seagulls. Yeah. That's the beach. Um, I think he's shredding cheese. Maybe. Yeah, that's what it is. He's, he's Chinese. making popcorn. Are you from, ta you from Taiwan? No. <laughs> Taiwan? China? No. He's Japanese. No, oh, Vietnam. Vietnam. Japanese. Japanese. Oh, Japanese. I heard some people in that that group talking to Mandarin. Japanese is uh, my subject. Oh, he's learning he's... Japanese. Okay. Yes. But he's Vietnamese. Okay, yeah, Tong makes sense. Yeah. There's great Vietnamese food out there. Oh, I'm not right. I had a mistake mm -hmm. and no fall on Vietnamese too. Hmm. Because, uh, you know, when I learn English with, uh, uh, Japanese, I'll be right back. I get some trouble. Oh, no. Yeah, I get some trouble. Okay. That's it. I don't know how to, uh, speak English carefully. I speak English like, uh, a Japanese, bro. <laughs> so many other oh. Asians want to be Japanese. It's pretty adorable when they just got to really love what Asian they are. Uh, have you ever uh, thought about investing in a microphone over ten dollars? No. What are you on right now? Just computer? Well, was... uh, what? Are you just on computer? Yeah, desktop. I play on computer. Yes, I play on desktop. Too. Are you using Celeron? Celeron? No. Are you are you using your laptop <laughs> microphone? Yes. Yes. Uh. All right. Well, Sonam, we're enjoying the beach here. This is a nice beach. Yes. Thank you for taking us. Oh, I see a whale here. Oh, yeah. See a whale too. <laughs> I'm just gonna play with my tits over here for a while, boys. Uh, wait, 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 wait. Uh, wait, why can't I play with my tits anymore? <laughs> GG! Uh, the upgrade. The upgrade killed my tits. Something weird. <laughs> How do you dance? All the dance icons are gone. Are they really? Damn it. Oh, that's not good. Uh, it's like Footloose. No dancing. Hold, uh, close that menu. Yeah. It's Footloose all over again. Hold what? get a different menu. Oh, yeah, I think if you hold B, you should get the oh, Footloose. Video with expressions, options, oh. and emojis. Oh, yeah. What did I say? Yep. And then under expressions is where you can do that. No, you said oh. Footloose. Thanks. Okay. Yeah. Wow! <laughs> I can play with my tits right now. I get. I, I'm playing with five o'clock and seven. Five and seven. Seven, 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 seven. Oh, seven. I'm going back in time now. Oh, five. I can't wait for seven. Oh, seven. Bro. 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 Oh, bro. Oh, bro. <laughs> oh, bro. <laughs> bro. Bro. Ah. Oh. No. All right. 
Uh, I got some new. I got. I, I just did a Jack and Diet, so I'm switching to Jack and Diet now for my vodka. Here we go. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Man, it feels so good to be able to like sleep in again. Like I had two weeks of just like stress. It's kind of like what K always talks about all the time. Like I'm so stressed, you know. Like mm -hmm. I, I had like my version of it, and man, it's so great to be on a normal schedule. Like not doing VR last week, I felt weird the whole week, but I was just bombarded with uh, work and shit. Ugh. Yeah, I know you did I a couple of shows, of stuff, right? Though. All kinds of stuff. Yeah. yeah. Well, it started off with having to do like a last minute Halloween show. I had to do Skank Fest. Having to switch my editing, video editing schedule with like from the weekend to the weekday. And then I couldn't do like regular shit. And then having another secret. Oh, man. It was just, I hate when my schedule, like you have like a everyday schedule, you know? And it's like when it gets thrown mm -hmm. off like that, that, that hardcore, it's such a that's a whole nother job. Just trying to schedule a different schedule. Oh, yeah. What are, you are. Yeah. Guests are coming up on Kill Tony. Can you say? Uh, we like, got Ron White. We got Louis J. Gomez and uh, Big J. Okerson. We got Kim Congdon mm -hmm. and Sarah Weinshank. Uh, oh, she's good. Yeah. Yes. She I just saw her on something. Sarah Weinshank. Oh, she was with um Norman and Sam Morell. She did a podcast with them. Oh really? It's really good. Oh cool. Yeah. I like Sam. And they Morrell. never have podcast guests. Did you guys see his documentary, she... The Full Capacity? Sam Morell's? Yeah. No, I didn't know you had a documentary. It's on YouTube. Really? It just came out in like the last month or so. Oh, really cool. Good. Yeah, it's just about things opening back up in New York. and it's, it's, Oh, cool. It's, Check that out. Oh, cool. Oh, yeah. Yeah, Sam's always been cool, man. Uh, I like Sam. Excuse me. Hey, Jay. <laughs> are you, are you going to go to the secret show Thursday? Yeah, I'll probably go. As long as Red Band doesn't think I'm going to spread anything. I think I'm good though. No, you're fine. I don't give a yeah, fuck. Uh, yeah, yeah, I'm a, I'm gonna go yeah, too. Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna go. Cool, cool. Sure. Yeah. Definitely. Uh, no, you could have came Monday also. I mean, you, you, you if you already had Delta like Eight up, and but... two shots, you're fine, dude. What the fuck? <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like that's know, that's crazy. Like... <laughs> I'm not even saying Who Delta knows? Eight. Maybe I mean, I can't Delta. spread it. Uh, that's so funny. So Delta Eight's called too? Delta. No, but I oh, no. Oh, Delta well, A. Oh, COVID. the drug. Okay, I'm so out of no, it. No, no, he had Delta, right? Yeah, oh, Delta he actually had Delta. Too. Yeah. Holy yeah, so shit. I, I was the one, I was the dumb Delta. one getting confused with Delta 8. Like, Delta and Delta 8. I'm so, like, it's so weird. It seems like yeah. weird on purpose. I don't know. <laughs> That's why I, I, I thought, oh, he's just smoking Delta 8. Yeah. Right. But, uh, wow, I'm right. sorry. Hopefully you're doing okay, you know? You sound, sound oh, good. Uh, I'm not sick, but my roommates are. Uh, wow. You vaccinated? We got some bad news. Gigi starts a new 9 to 5 tomorrow, so. Oh. Mm. Okay. I can't wait to hear about that. Dude, maybe it's a good 9 to 5, or maybe it's Taco Bell. Who knows? <laughs> <laughs> Could be both. Hey, you gotta live moss. Yep. <laughs> yeah. You know, I uh I miss the Taco you know, Bell dog. Taco Bell dog? Oh yeah, that you dog. Get a Taco Bell. You know what you, you know what's crazy is that yeah, dog comedian, that dog's right? dead. You know that dog's dead. That like how did that dog <laughs> we should find out how that dog died, like like if he like suffered. What if he just got hit by a car? You know, like what if he like oh the Taco Bell dog went, ran out into the street, got hit by a car. <laughs> oh my god you never know no. yeah weird shit happens we mm -hmm. just uh I for, go ahead I, I forget the name of the guy he was on reno 911 and he was the guy Carlos, who played uh, uh, yeah yeah he was the original no Get Hero, Taco Bell. Bell. yeah <laughs> he's the original guy uh for that hell yeah, yeah. i thought it was a great <laughs> like uh you know campaign they, they kicked ass with no that, that was a good one how about spud 
Spuds McKenzie. Remember that? No, Spuds McKenzie was one of my favorite campaigns. Right behind Max Hedrum. Max Hedrum was my favorite. We're to the point where I was obsessed with Max Hedrum. And I think a lot of people that were, and it show, became a TV it? show. No, but it started off as, a, oh. there's not many commercials that started off as a commercial, and it, they were so popular, they were like, we got to make this a TV show. You know, like. Oh. <laughs> Well, think of uh, Vern too, right? Hippie. Yep, Vern. What's his name? Uh, Hippie, yeah, good Vern, avatar. But uh, yeah, uh, what's that one? Ernest. Ernest. Like Ernest, like Ernest goes, goes to camp. camp and yep. All that stuff. Yep. Ernest. Oh, for, you know that started from a commercial, right? Yeah. Yep. Toe. Poor Come here. Ernest. You see any frogs on the on the walk? <laughs> she says it's what? too cold these days. There's no frogs on the walk. Did you see anything crazy? No. Uh, Maybe. Uh, do you want to play in a sec? Maybe. All right. Uh, hey, Tong, we're going to go somewhere, and my girlfriend needs to interview you to see if you uh, pass her Asian test. You mean if he's really Asian? No, if he's really Asian. He might not be. He might not be. A lot of people are saying Armenian. He could be Russian. No, a lot of people are saying Armenian. Armenian. Yeah. Uh, like are you East, Armenian? East Europe. Uh, yeah, East Europe. He's doing Slav squat right now. I mean, check uh, it out. Oh, uh, he is. <laughs> he is kind of yeah. doing that. Yeah. yeah. He kind of looks uh, yeah. like a vampire. Smoking a cigarette. From, like Czechoslovakia or something. Well, a lot of, a lot of he, I mean, he's <laughs> trace. By the way, he is getting our IP address Ooh. as well. He's doing all this with his microphone, just so you know. So if, uh, if a couple of you boys don't mind getting his IP address real quick so we can, like, that's good uh wait you got that with trace route that trace route that boba uh cracking the key comp set are you cracking the key now all right i'm hungry you're in all right, uh, let's go to McDonald's. I, I, I'm hungry. Come on, Tom. from a bean. <laughs> what are you talking about? Get Hooch over here. Get Hooch over here. Hooch is right in front of you. What the? Who am I? Oh. Where is everyone? Hey, unmute yourself right now. I am unmuted. Three cheeseburgers. And, and the... Coke. Don't, don't be Hi, everyone. Can I switch into... We'll fix it. Uh, oh, it's broken. Why? Fix that shit. Hello. In Vietnamese, um... Um... A Vietnamese uncle who is very... Hi, Tong. They are nice. Hello? Yeah, so, uh... She's, she's gonna interview you. Know, you know, my boy is uh, going to... Break the after Janice? I bring up. He is. Okay. Oh. <laughs> this is, uh, this is Tong. Hello, Tong. Yeah. What? That's you? Yeah. <laughs> oh, I don't hey, Tong, I, I have some questions for you. I have some questions for you. I'm supposed to interview you. Yeah, yeah. 
Okay. I did. Do you wear your shoes in the house? Oh. Ah. Wear shoes in the house? Yeah, do you wear your shoes no. in the house? No. Okay. No, 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 no. Um, I'm a Vietnamese, so uh, we, don't, we don't wear suit in Oh, you are Vietnamese. Okay. Yes. Yeah, what happens if you do in wear Vietnamese, shoes in yeah. the house? What? What happens if you do wear shoes in the house? Oh, yeah. Individual shoes, right? Yeah. Yeah, maybe... Yeah. Do you do you have okay, little uh, do you have little uh, house slippers for your guests when they come over? No. No. Okay. I just use uh, shoes with uh, uh, the uh, baby bomb too. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Wait, who's breathing okay, behind I me? Use, uh, mom to, uh, for hanging out. Who's doing all that heavy breathing? Aeon flux. You know. Aeon flux. I was trying to tell Brian that before. Aeon okay. Flux. Okay. <laughs> been stuff forever, dude. You know, I remember when I met my first heavy breather, and um, it was this girl, and she always breathed super heavy, especially when she was concentrating. And I had to ask her, like, why do you breathe like that? <laughs> and she couldn't even answer. Yeah. She didn't know she was doing it. You don't even know you're doing it, do you? Me. It's yeah. the microphone level, I just, Aeon. I turned it down. It's the microphone level. <laughs> Still? I do it, Aeon. Oh, no. Go to, like, maybe... Uh, what are you at? What percentage are you? Four. Um, oh, Tong, Jesus. what's maybe your favorite better? Vietnamese yeah, food? Oh, very good? Mm-hmm. Uh... Worse. It's like the optometrist. So... Hey, all right, all right, I know. I'm listening. Life? I'm listening. Yeah, are you because just... my favorite three percent is. Just... Uh, all right, so you're just uh, regular right now. Come on, oh. like, uh, like talking. Yep. You know, uh, about five percent. They have something. Yeah. You can eat. If I can, so, I can hear you a lot. I I, I, I don't want to say this. Yes. Okay. Uh, go back. This is my favorite food. Eel. Three percent. Do you live in eel, Vietnam? Right? Did I oh, get that? eel. Right, oh, I love eel. eel. Mm -hmm. What? I'm not a lab breather. No, she no, loves no. eel. My, my yeah, I know. I, I, had the same, I, had huh? the same, I had the same issue. Okay. I no, said no. Uh, in Vietnamese, no, we can good. eat. Ah, thanks. So, uh, yeah, I don't, I don't, yeah. Yeah. I don't yeah, want let to me say go. this. Hold on, come over here. I, uh, own way it is not in a uh, party. Like Alright, yeah. so stand there. I'm gonna come uh, right here. Wait, are you going to have this? Stay for me, huh? Yeah, it, it sucks because you're a little quiet. No, never mind. Yeah. Damn it. Right Damn it. Right now. What's up? Yeah, I can hear ah, you. I can hear you perfectly. Okay. And background noise. How's it going? What's up? I don't know what that is. Uh, cute. Everything, uh, but it's not loud on my. In Vietnam, we we eat. Uh, uh, good. Yeah, but maybe it's not. Yeah, so they eat the dog. You so. In Vietnam. No, 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 Vietnam. no, 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 no no, 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 no. He doesn't need. He doesn't need any dog, which is good. Yeah, right? Uh, uh, did I get that? Yeah. yeah it's just a, it's just yeah. a microphone. It's not you. It's That's good. good. Yeah, you're from the um, south. South Hello? Vietnam? You guys have to evacuate the place. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Down Vietnam, so I, I don't need a dog. I don't so. I wonder if there's a way I might be able to push the car. Well, oh, you guys probably gotta be careful. Muggy Wuggy's coming. I use, uh, Who's that? Uh, you don't know who that is? That's good. I'm delivering him inside the bathrooms, so don't go in the bathrooms. No, no, no. You die. Have fun, make sure he doesn't escape, though. Make sure he doesn't escape. Wait a minute, I don't... Anyway, he's definitely from Vietnam, right? We know he's Asian, right? Yeah. Yeah, I would agree with that. I think so. 
Yeah. Well, no, those were good questions. No setup required. So what do you do for fun in Vietnam? What? What do you do for fun? Like, do you go like jogging or biking? Uh, no, I just stay in at home. Yeah, yeah, stay at home. Okay, yeah. that's good. Yeah, that's way too much. I'm, I'm not really like, uh, want to no, enjoy the outside, uh, so I hmm. just stay in. If you, uh, I don't hmm, know, how, how old are you, Tong? <laughs> yeah, over 18. <laughs> oh, over 18, okay. That's so good. 19? Uh, large coal, so but, 19? Uh, officially... 19. Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay, that's good. Uh, but, uh, yeah, yeah. No burger for you. No, 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 it's normal. Oh, yeah. No, it's all normal. Of course. Well, I don't know what else to ask Tong. <laughs> well, welcome. Yeah. Hi. Hi. Well, there's a lot of extra people here now. Yeah. What would you like? What would you like? Huh? I didn't say anything. Let's go outside. It's getting a little crazy in here. Oh, yeah. Let's go outside. Yeah, yeah. Hey, Bubba. Oh. How was your day today, Janice? Oh, man. I I did nothing today but sleep. Oh, yeah. You were at Skank Fest, too, right? No, I wasn't. No? I, I didn't go. But we stayed up really late last oh. night. And then, uh, yeah. and then woke up at, like, 4. I And then I had a consultation with a new therapist today for 5. And then came back, ate, I slept some more, and yeah. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. That's good. Literally nothing. Yeah, I think. <laughs> cool. Give me a hug. Give me a hug. I block you. But I woke up with a migraine today. Oh, annoying. that sucks. Yeah. Like, uh, oh, sucks to be you. I don't know. Migraine, migraine. Just, I don't know. Tension yeah. headache, maybe? Maybe. Yeah, yeah. Stress? Yeah. I have a friend that gets really bad migraines. Uh, I forget what she does right now. There's some sort of, um, sometimes she has to go to the hospital and I have to give Damn. her some medication. And I think it helps shrink the swelling in the brain maybe or something maybe cortisol i'm not sure i should ask her again because mm. yeah can maybe we, it's something go, like that we go your best buy. or maybe some like vaso dilator or something because sometimes best buy? the blood heading to the brain yeah can we go best buy no scram little boy oh <laughs> <laughs> now you did it. <laughs> Poor little Jimmy. He's so he's, sad he's now. He's hiding under the car now. Yeah. He's gonna have to walk the oh, Best Buy. He's going back. He's back. Can we go to the playground? To where? Playground. Playground? No, no He's one right wants to there, play sure. with you. What is it? <laughs> okay, let's go. Let's go. Let's go to the playground. Let's go to the playground. Let's go to the playground. Every the last Everybody, time let's we were here, this guy was doing the same thing. Playground, everyone. Playground. It might be for real. All right, all right, little buddy, we're on the playground. <laughs> What the fuck? Can, can we, can we, can we, can we go back? Oh by? shit! This thing's crazy. No, you go. sit on the little hamburger toy. You wanted to come on yeah, the. On there. You sit wanted there. to come to the playground. We're at the playground. Click, yeah, the click button. on that thing and sit on it. Side yeah, get going. Hey, Push man, faster. Stop trying to flip my There you go. Oh, Mark, that's a little boy. Uh oh. 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 I think this is for real. I don't know what's going on, so I'm sorry. 
I can't hear anything. I think we need to go to a PC only world. Okay, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh. Yeah, I got one. <laughs> Did you try that thing? That thing's crazy. Oh god. What was going on? Oh what, shit. What was happening? Um, this little kid, I don't, he might have been autistic or something, but he was like, can we go to Best Buy? And I said, no, oh, scram, that's, little that's boy. That's fake, that's fake. No, yeah, who knows? It's fake. You silly. What is this world? Oh, you came here too? This is like... Oh, <clears throat> oh shit. Oh, God. Damn it. What'd you do? I got stuck. Brush head. Yeah, I know. Brush heads are not real. Yeah, good to see I mean, you again. Let's not talk about it. Bye, Jay. Bye, Janice. All right, bye, Jay. See ya. See you guys. Bye. He's got to go pimp somewhere. Okay. Okay, bootneck. I kicked him. Okay, good. <laughs> You kicked him, but he went off the side? Yeah. Oh shit. No, no, just kicked shit him from the it's room, fucking man. ridiculous. <laughs> and, uh, he's been so underprivileged. That's what happens when you get their IP address, you know? <laughs> this is a cool world. Yeah, I'm digging it. Yeah, it kind of. Triggers my uh, fear of heights. Though, <laughs> <but>. <laughs> it, it's, uh, yeah, I mean, not to be triggered, so but yeah. I don't like heights that much. It's virtual. It's all virtual. It's fine. Whoa. What is this stuff? Oh, whoa. This is VR within the VR. Oh. A taco yeah. within a taco. Oh. Doesn't quite yeah. work. That's cool. cool. That's cool. <laughs> Could he click wow. on it and make it like real or something? No, he just hold it up. Oh, that'd us. be cool if he can like click on it to make it real. Like he just go there, like it's a different world. Yeah. That's cool. Whoa. Are they all different? <sighs> no, they're all the same. It's like uh, Viewmasters. So. Got it. Korean. Yu Hung Shisol. I don't know what it means, but it says Yu Hung Shisol. Yu Hung Shisol. Shisol. No idea what that is. I 
and that's Japanese. I'm stuck. Oh, what? what's that? Weird. Must be a glitch. Ah. What? Me and Mark both just got stuck in stuck like in one this. place for some reason. Yeah, it's like the little tubey thing we get stuck in. Hmm. It's probably something you have to click. Spaces you have to work to get to. Oh yeah, no, it, it is. It is really cool. It's it's very um, elaborate. Yeah. All right, I'm going to put on your resume under blueberry buttons. Huh? Uh, you didn't figure that out before blueberry buttons. So what? That little walkway or whatever you did. What? Ooh, see if everyone else can do it. Watch them. Watch the people going up. Oh man, don't, don't fall. What? Ooh, look at that walkway down there. Well, we'll just go through it. You got greedy. Do trick or chill. Hmm? Trick or chill. All right. I'm going to draw a portal. This one's a favorite word. Portal. My shoulder hurts. Oh, this world? Isn't this the one where you get oh. stuck in that room with the bag of bodies? No. The body bags? No. Uh, I don't think so. I think this is just a chill. Yeah. Dang world, it's so rainy. Oh, yeah, mm. this, is the, this is the trick or treat world. <laughs> yeah, the key to the door. To the door. Yeah. We are the Oh. Oh, and you throw candy at them. Uh, yeah, just throw at their heads. Get out of here. <laughs> and just throw it at him. Yeah. I feel like that's how I'd be as a parent. I just, if I had, or if I had, parent, if I had kids and <laughs> trigger treaters, I'd just throw it at them. There you go. Yeah, shut that door. <coughs> Yeah, we did lights out this year. We didn't even 
do trick or treaters. Do you usually? Yeah, we usually do. We're just giving it another year. I know we're kind of <coughs> on way too on the cautious side, probably. Yeah. But I uh, decided to wait another year. How about, oh, well, you guys are out, right? You had the show and stuff, so. We're yeah, well, uh, apparently the weird thing is, well, Brian told me that uh, most states they do it on like the friday before halloween or something like that and not actually on halloween is that true trigger trading yeah trigger trading yeah 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 really wow maybe i've always not, lived in california yeah so. maybe not in california no because... california did it like two weeks before what yeah I think it's probably just a neighborhood kind of thing because I've always, it's always, as far as I remember, like in my childhood, it was always on just Halloween. Mm. Ohio like did it before too. Hmm. Well, Boba said maybe it's a neighborhood thing because he always did it on Halloween. No, cities, uh, a lot of cities did it way before Halloween. Like usually whatever the Friday was is what it used to be. Hmm. hmm. First I've ever heard of that kind of oh. thing. We always did it on Halloween. Like Halloween, Burbank but... was like... Yeah. A week, like four I, days ahead. I never noticed. I, I never did Halloween as a kid or trick or treated as a kid, so. Oh, okay. I didn't notice. Right. She didn't have that. I think it's because my my parents did. didn't like the idea. Because, well, one, they were Christian, but also. Super religious. They, they didn't want. I don't even think it was that. I think they were lazy. Like, they didn't. It wasn't in our tradition to go out and do that, and they didn't like the idea of us eating so much candy. Like we already got it from school, so they're like, "Why do you need more candy? And why do you? Why do we need to walk around for like an hour with you guys?" They don't get fun. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. The scariest thing is like this is Windows ninety eight like, technology. Yeah, you carry, you carry around like a pillowcase, you know, and you put a bunch of candy, and it's like your parents. Are it or like my aunts and stuff would mm. and they're like yeah this has got holes in it and you're like you're just jacking my candy dude mm. <laughs> <laughs> this one has some needle holes in it probably <laughs> just take it um, out cups yeah we we would do a whole pillowcase and um pillowcase like, me too we possibly could yeah <laughs> pillowcase is the shit, dude. i would do a pillowcase pillow also the way to go yeah yeah <laughs> Brian, that was like, yeah, that was like a secret uh, for Halloween when I was a kid. Yeah, I didn't know that. I didn't know pillowcase was a yeah. thing. Yeah, you fill up your pillowcase halfway, you have 50 pounds of candy. Wow. <laughs> you seriously get that much candy? <laughs> yeah. Wow. We, we, we would get tons, man. Not I would 50. eat as much candy as I possibly could growing wow. up. Wow. Yeah. That's crazy. The most like candy, insane I mean, amount. I thought the candy that I would get at school, get from school, was a lot. Like just a paper bag, like a sandwich bag filled with candy. I thought that was a lot, but I didn't know you'd get like that much. No, we got pounds of candy, not That's fifty, crazy. but and all for yourself. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah, it was, it was the best thing to to ever for kids. Wow. Could. We had no internet though. Like you give us your Pornhub account for a day, that would be better. Like trust me. And then you like compete against your cousins and shit, and you like see who got more better candies. And, like, was it? Yeah, or you start trading and stuff. That yeah, sounds start fun. Trading and it's like bar we're like in prison. You know? But like for you guys, when you in your neighborhoods growing up, was it like a big event? Like all the kids, you see everyone from school, like. The whole neighborhood gets oh, into much. it. Yeah. That's yeah, so fun. Lively, at least growing up. Um, yeah, I, I had a, a good neighborhood when I grew up here in Arizona. And there was like a like a, a rich neighborhood nearby where we would like sometimes go into there and like get the mm -hmm. good candy. That's fun. You get dropped off and picked yeah. up later. <laughs> I, yeah, I, I think my also my neighborhood wasn't that into it. Like it was majority lights out because it was like a... It it's all Asian, Asian neighborhood. Yeah. I grew up in a very Asian city. Look at that guy. He yeah, wants he cool. wants candy. Give him candy. Oh, oh, Aon's got it. He's not going to do it right. He 
did it. Maybe not. Well, I don't know if he did. Oh, what? Guys, look at his reaction when he get candy. There you go. I like that. Have you guys seen the... It's like the ghost of trick-or-treaters. Have you guys seen that video of that guy who who does like slinky tricks for the trick-or-treaters? I like that. You saw that? Yeah. No, I, I, no, I don't know about that, but I like the idea of like giving real tricks. Yeah. So like they would open the door and he, um, he, I guess he was into doing slinkies for a hobby, but he could do all these like cool tricks with it. But he was dressed as a magician. He had all this like cool blue light stuff and music and fog. And he'd open the door and be like, woo! And he'd even like boop their heads with a <laughs> slinky. And he did like a whole compilation mm. video of it. Wow. Wow. Like a big one with a Granny Smith apple. Yeah. Yeah, we had a lady across the street, Linda, she would do that. And that shit was the bomb. You're right, that was good back in the day. Well. And if you had a loose um, tooth, because you were a kid, the wiggly tooth, you know it would come <laughs> out when you'd eat it. <laughs> yeah. I'm jealous. I wish I could have that. Oh, like, yeah, candy or caramel. Apples are tasty. Get it, Janice. Get him. <laughs> <laughs> you want the candy. I, I mean, I, I, I was a goofball. I mean, we trick or treated oh, pretty say thank late you. too. I think I was like 19 what and went out with heads. friends and we went trick or treating, like super old. Uh, I did <laughs> go. I did that and, once. Just when I when I was like 17 or something. Yeah. And the year we did it, one time we had a lady, and she came to the door and she had a literal pumpkin on her head. And it scared the crap out of us. It was like so weird, right? She had carved a hole in the pumpkin and it was a real pumpkin. And I don't know if she carved eyes in it or what, but it was freaky. That was the last time I ever trick or treated. I was like, screw that, man. Because of the pumpkin lady? <laughs> yeah, that was scary as shit. She had a huge pumpkin on her head. I know it was a costume. Wait, but that's, it just a, was that's like a trend that hot girls are doing these days where they like. Oh, Carve pumpkins, God. put them well, on their This was head not a hot like... girl. No. This is a giant <laughs> fat woman with a giant pumpkin on her head, and she looked like she could kill you. Oh, a giant I mean, fat woman! Like, creepy, That's really so. scary. <laughs> it was a time. It was a long time ago, but <laughs> goddamn, it's weird shit. It's kind of awkward when you go as an older kid, isn't it? Yeah, they always say, you know, what are you doing here? Why are you trick-or-treating? And we did it kind of late, too. So yeah. they're like, what the hell, you know? Yeah. Nine o'clock, God forbid, you know? Yeah. So, yeah. They have the attitude of, like, this is for the children. <laughs> yeah, but late teenagers, you know, you're still kind of a kid. Yeah. Like, you know, sort of, I think. I bet I, if I dressed up, like, with something over my head and, like, I could I could go as a little kid though. Still, we should do that next year, Brian. You could be. I don't want to. You could be my dad. No. <laughs> you walk me around. No. I could be a like a tall. You guys could. You probably get a bunch grader. of candy. Oh. Yeah. If you had a mask Wrong on, idea. they probably wouldn't yeah. know at all, right? <laughs> Put on like a Fred Durst wig. You know, Fred Durst has like that, that big gray wig on now. I'm gonna get some ice. I'll be right back. That'd be funny. Yeah, you could totally get a bunch of candy. Yeah. You know, one time at the grocery store, this lady thought I was actually the daughter. It's so embarrassing. Oh, shit. <laughs> That's so crazy. Yeah. Uh, tell them the story. Uh, at at the grocery store. Really retarded. <laughs> I don't know. Like, at the grocery store at um, in Burbank, that we used, the one that we went to for years, and we've seen her around, you know? She was checking us out um, one day, and she's like, she's very good girl. She's like Russian or something. She's like, she's a very good girl, very nice, and stuff like that to Brian. <laughs> <laughs> what did she say exactly? No, oh, she God. Said, you have a very good dog. Yeah, you have a very, or something like that. <laughs> it's so, and we just went along with it. I bet my face was red, oh, though, wasn't it? 
Yeah. <laughs> what That's funny that? shit. That's awful. <laughs> yeah. It's creepy. <laughs> but I took a friend to, to a hospital once. And they thought I was his dad also. They're like, is oh, that really? your son? And I'm like, no, no, no. I'm just trying to help him out. Poor guy. <laughs> so, yeah. Yeah, it happens. Yeah. As you get a little older, it's it weird. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Do you have to get it right in the bucket? Yeah. Go away? Yep. Those persistent trick or treaters. Hey Aeon, are you are you into the furry community? No. Huh. You just like that one? <laughs> well it's this or Oh, that. I like that one way better. This looks yeah, but cool. I scare I tend to scare people. With that one? Um, no, I just... <laughs> yeah, people think it's weird. Oh, no, I like it. Yeah, I like, I like the one furry one, too. The fur rub on the it. back. That one, that one seems... You know, like you're repping... Yeah. Definitely repping the... I don't know. Yeah, I just thought it was... Yeah. Yeah. Just an avatar. You know what? Well, it says fur yeah. hub on it. Oh. Uh, well, I guess I got it in the fur world. I just liked yeah. it. Cause it, it's like good graphics, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> this one's way yeah, better. You know, I haven't, I, like, it's a good looking I'm avatar. Good though. Avatar. I haven't been in any good avatar worlds in a long time. Probably should. Should we go to one? Do that one of these days. Go to yeah. Uh, go to always good one. Why not? Uh, Owls? No, no, no. Uh, fur place. Uh, fur. Hooters. Hooters. Yeah, the Hooters place. Do you know what Brian's talking about, Boba? Fembot Hooters. Fembot Hooters. Fembot Hooters. Hooters. Femboy Femboy Hooters. It's, it's an avatar place. Who's the oh, kids? Yeah, I remember that. Oh, wait, there's, yeah. Yeah, there's an avatar's world for it. Portal. Okay, I'm gonna end soon. Alright, I gotta pee. Okay. Did you just burp? Mm. No. Did you just fart? No. No. That's not ten bot hitters. Whoever did Somebody that, lied to you. put that portal down. Boba put it down. I mean, it. Are you looking for a fembot right now, I guess? Fem boy, not fembot. Are you unmuted? Yeah. Um, these oh are God. these are cute girls. Mm. Wow, frame rate sucks. Your phone. Wow, I can hear Brian's pee stream from here. <laughs> he really had to go. <laughs> Might be very complex. Is that supposed to be a boy? Actually, since the... Are since these the supposed upgrade, to be dudes? Tits not big enough. Oh, you're a tit guy. Aeon. Well, I'm more of an ass guy. Hmm. Who isn't I mean, an ass guy these good. days? Like, that's that's a trend. That's a trend now. It's a trend. It's not the 90s anymore. I 
told it to grow on Tinder, nice butt, thinking that it wouldn't work, and she like immediately wrote back. Well, I mean, she was kind of sticking it out there. So, but, you know. <laughs> yeah, there's definitely some full-figured uh, avatars in this thing. No tits, but go. giant ass or something. Mm -hmm. Jiggly. Bizarre. I don't know. <laughs> kind of weird. I mean, truthfully, half the avatars are, like, furry related yeah or, or i guess anime anime furry same shit i don't know i don't care it's a big venn diagram a lot of crossover exactly venn diagram. yeah thank you well even my my home world i hadn't been there in a long time and when i went there they had a giant furry poster about like some furry convention do you guys have that yeah, on your always, thing. There's always weird conventions going on. Hey, yeah, hey, yeah. I, I think it already happened. Or Boba mm -hmm. to try to find Jet Set Radio World. Did you hear that, Boba? Jet Set Radio, Radio World, yeah. Jet Set. Jet Set Radio World. Let's see what's up. sister on VR. She liked this one. I made her go to this. No, well, it's a jet ski world. Oh, that's, that's a nice one. Yeah, no All dice right, on so that from what I'm seeing. Mm. But there's a jet ski world we can check out. Yeah, okay. Jet ski! Yeah, that's just wonderful. Wow. <laughs> Excellent diagram. Everything's on fire. Yeah, I don't get it. I don't get it. Oh, there we go. Okay. You only use your right controller. What? Oh. 
Oh god. Jet skiing. Oh, there's a ramp. Fail. Have you ever been on a real jet ski? Yeah. It's fun, huh? I have. It's kind of scary, it's super though. Fun, man. That's yeah, super bouncy and crazy. And yeah. Like, <laughs> my like, forearms, oh. my forearms were sore after from like yeah, trying to hang to on. Yeah, out. Like, yeah. How do you do? Th I can't even do the boat. I don't know how to do this. It's not the same. Uh, it might be. Let me see. Here, let me go back. Ah. Yeah. Out of, uh... Yeah, this world is uh. What the fuck? Fun fact, uh, my parents didn't know anyone successful enough to have jet skis growing up. I've never been on a jet ski. We'll I just feel go like, and rent one. I feel like I would go crazy. We should go get one. We should go sometime. Yeah, let's go to. I can keep my shirt on, right? Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> Why'd you ask that? <laughs> that I, I should write that silly. as a joke, right? Yeah, like you I've should. never been on a jet ski. I don't want to take off my shirt, boys. <laughs> <laughs> no, you should say it exactly like how you just said it. Like you can keep your shirt on, right? <laughs> You just say it exactly like that. That's funny. <laughs> yeah, let's go. I I mean, I never had Wait, friends like who had one. Wait, now time to go before it gets super cold. Yeah, it's probably it cold now, cold, right? right? Yeah, but like Travis, like, I'm, I mean like the air temperature right now. Because oh. you're on the, the jet ski and it's like, yeah. what, 75 in the daytime? Yeah. It's perfect right now to just, okay. you know, zoom around. And... Yeah, a lot... The only, I only went once, and it was, um, we just went in San Diego. There was this, I don't even know what you call it. Like By the way, Earl Skakel was just on Hanging Out. Uh, oh, cool. Yeah, he, uh. Yeah, he's in there every week. He's, uh, 53. He's a male. He loves anal. He's just telling everyone in the chat. Uh, he also is looking for pussy. So if there's any pussy watching, is he looking uh, for anal or is he looking for pussy? Please. I mean, he, he's just saying he likes <laughs> anal. Okay. Uh, uh, I don't know what kind of anal. I don't know if it's on him or not. You have to contact him. It's Earl Skakel, you know, uh, king, queen, king, king of the comedy store. Earl Skakel. A lot of people don't know Earl Skakel. Most ticklish person I know. <gasps> Ooh, there's stars. Ari Manis, second place. Maybe. We have to have a tickle off someday. Is Ari in here too? He was. No, Ari has not been. He might be like 
lurking, but who knows? <laughs> Yay! Yeah, it's hard to control. All right, I'm gonna call Hans Kim live right now just to see if he's awake. I mean, if you live in a van, you're probably always a little awake, right? Uh, I'm gonna contact Hans Kim. All right, here we go. Let's see if I have his number. Yep, yep, I do. All right. Are you hungry, Brian? Maybe. What do you mean, maybe? Hold on, I'm calling Hans Kim. Hello? Is this Hans Kim of Kill Tony fame? Yeah. Hey, Hans Kim, this is Brian Redband. You're on uh, Virtual Redband right now. Hey, Brian, good to hear from you. Are, you're not sleep. You are sleeping, I can tell. You're sleeping. <laughs> I didn't, I, mean to I didn't mean to wake you up, buddy. Oh, uh, it's okay. Uh, I'll let you go. Uh, you got any pussy in bed, though, right now? No, I'm just alone. I just jerked off. All right. <laughs> All right. Uh, are you sleeping right now? All right. Not really. Okay. Um, yeah, I was just got done and uh, with the creek, and now I'm here. I visited Latchkey. How was um, the creek tonight? You did a set at the creek? Ask him what he did. Yeah, I did to. an open mic. Oh. What did you jerk off to? Janice wants to know. Uh, I jer jerked off to Japanese massage porn. Oh, really. fuck yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. Right up my alley. I love that. I like it when it looks real, though. Like, oh, no, this is like a, like a hidden camera. Yeah, and they have like that drug where it makes them super horny, and then they what? yeah. I don't know wait, that wait, one. what are you talking about? They have like this aerosolized aerosolized and it makes them like really, really crazy, That's and it makes real. them really enjoy the massage. Wait, how do you look that up though? Like, like porn wise, like what's the the t keywords? Japanese shrimp massage or aphrodisiac. Japanese shrimp massage. All right. Yeah. What's the other thing? Aphrodisiac. Oh. Is that real or is that pretend? No, I think Afro that's real. I think, like, is there a website that you go to or you just Google it? There used to be a lot and then they started taking them down. Right. What's There's the one of X videos. X videos? Yeah. Yeah, right, that's that's a bullshit website. So now I'm thinking it's all all fake because I think X videos is actually owned by Pornhub. You gotta like find those like weird porn sites that's like pussyfart.gov, you know, and then you know it's real when it's like <laughs> <laughs> uh, the more pump ups you have to close, the realer it is. Right. Uh did you uh open up for Rogan tonight or did William steal that? William William did it tonight. All right. Are you on tomorrow? I don't think so. Oh, did you fuck yeah. up? Did you, like, piss Rogan <laughs> off or something? No, I don't think so. Oh. <laughs> Shit, man. Like, uh, not going to talk about it right now, but that talk last night, I mean, you know what I mean? Uh, hey, uh, Hans, we watched yeah. earlier on Virtual Red Band, we watched... Uh, you driving in Houston, almost getting clipped by a guy that ran a red light or whatever. Uh, yeah. What happened? Like, go through that night. Like, what it was? What? Where were you coming from? What were you talking about? What were you doing? Hell's what happened? Have been treating you. I was dropping Gary Faust off at his hotel. Oh, so it's Gary's fault. I, 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 I feel like <laughs> it's all Gary's fault. Yeah, he's yeah, he's such a rascal. He is. And then, yeah. I was coming back to the uh, the secret group where Skankfest is held, right? And we were just about we we're a block away, and I was saying, I, I bet it. there's still a couple crust punks milling about, and then <laughs> I see it. the shadow. Uh, <laughs> there, I went through the intersection, and there's a stop sign for the other oh. side, and I right. saw this guy just peeling out 
getting ready to jump forward. And so well, you were driving and- towards this uh, stop sign. So what you're talking about right now is like within a second, you must have a better operating system or hardware in your head to like pull up to a stop sign while driving, what, 25, 30 miles an hour and see this all in one second. So like when you talk about this, you're acting ah, like you dude, just sat there and saw movie. this. Like right on. This is like microseconds yeah. you saw this. Yeah. Yeah. I saw it. Yeah. I don't know how much faster I could have stopped, but I was like, just because he's peeling out doesn't mean he's going to go. Like, he could just be spinning his tires. So I didn't know if he was going to go. And then when he went, like, I stopped as soon as I could. Right. Um, Now, did did anything happen with all, like, we heard a lot of noises of uh, shit from your house fly towards you. Anything break or anything bad happen? Or just a lot of cleanup? Yeah, it was a little bit of cleanup. It wasn't too bad. Um, most of my stuff is, like, pretty good. The worst is when I make a left turn, then everything goes crazy. But when I go <laughs> forward or backwards, it's fine. That's hilarious. <laughs> Did you ever... Th- so do you not make left turns on purpose? Like, ah, I'll just take a three rights. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just really careful. That's awesome. All, all my stuff opens up to the left or yeah to the passenger side did uh you have fun at skank fest yeah it was so fun everyone there was so nice and just crazy that and so many people recognized me from kill tony it was like i was a celebrity that's awesome yeah is that gone to your head huh has that gone to your head (laughs) yeah it's weird being back in normal life and then (laughs) Nobody cares about me. <laughs> You're just going to H Mart setting up cameras. Like, I love the fact that you went to one of my favorite Korean grocery stores in Austin and you set up a camera and microphones. You had a full on interview in the middle of the courtyard of H Mart, some a place that me and Janice have been like uh instagram storing about for a couple months now ever since we've lived here we we hang out at the courtyard we grab some korean hot dogs or whatever but they also have like a weird stage there uh and i i we talked about it briefly the other day i was like you should see as a korean you should see if you can do a show in that courtyard because i'm all about that dude and that could be your jam but you have to like tell them like, hey, this is like comedy, you know, this is like R rated, you know what I mean? Like this is like maybe when H Mart closes, you know, or something like, <laughs> but that should be your jam right there, dude. Like I, I love that place. And there was a stage there in the middle of the courtyard, but imagine all those restaurants open up for this and you're having shows in this courtyard. And all the restaurants are open, so it's like a food comedy thing in an H Mart. Dude, you should look into that. Yeah, H Mart after dark. Mm-hmm. Seriously. And I bet all those little Asian peeps would be like, I'm down, I'm down, I'm down. If it's money, you know what I mean? Yeah, we could do it. And uh, we could do it at like 10 or 9 so that yeah. there's no kids there. Yep. Oh yeah, yeah. No, it's adult. Like like once H Mart closes, it's like adult style. But you should do that seriously. And and I think you're one of the only few people I know that can actually pull that off because of your face and stuff. But I I w- I would love to like help that because uh, me and Janice go to H Mart maybe every couple two weeks, three weeks. But it's like. Uh, it's one of her favorite places ever, you know? Yeah, it's so great. They have the cafeteria, like, with all different kinds of food. And, like, the grocery store is crazy because you can buy anything from yeah. Korea. Do you do the same thing Janice does when you go through the seafood section? She, like, picks her hand and just grabs a fish eyeball and picks it out and eats it like a grape. I'm like, you can't do that. You just ruined that fish. You know what I mean? Like, she just eats fish eyeballs. Like, it's crazy. <laughs> no, I don't. I don't I don't eat fish eyeballs. Have you ever tried it? 
try doing it because it's weird when I'm like, like I think it's rude. Like I think it ruins the, like you, it's kind of like I don't know. Like it ruins the product. Like it's hard to sell a fish if it has no eyeball. And she like <laughs> thinks it's grapes. Like I don't like that. Yeah, like things could fall in there and it could get dirty. Yeah. Yep. But the fish eyeballs are like really like Korean people love it. They like that's the best part for them. Yeah. You like I hate fish eyeballs. It, 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 there's like a a boner in the middle or something. There's something hard in the middle. I don't like it. Like a contact lens. <laughs> Not even like that. It's like a hard part. It's like, yeah. like like Janice, like I'll eat a chicken wing and she's like, oh, I'm eating the cartilage and the muscles and the bone. Uh, I'm like, nope. <laughs> yeah. That's All right, really... All right Hans. Great talking to you. Uh, I'll definitely see you Thursday at the Secret Show. Uh, be safe. Okay. See you there. Military Hans Kim, everyone. Uh, my phone actually just died. That's amazing. My phone dead i'm trying to Ryan. turn my phone on dead One just died world right when i said that that's weird and crazy uh toe is done look look she's like getting upset all right i'm gonna go back into vr close this out where are you at right now yeah i think you just enabled a jet ski world <laughs> what's going on with the helicopter that should be what are you doing? I'm hungry. Make the pizza. No. What are you going to make? Rice balls. Rice balls? Yeah. Little What's little rice balls? Lion. With a million little baby fish inside of it. Nope. <laughs> I don't want that. Okay, then. I'll make... Peanut butter and jelly sandwich? No, you already had that last night. I don't want any fish. Whatever you what are about, talking about, I don't want any what fish. About waffles. I'll, yeah, I'll eat some waffles. Do you want like a fried egg on the side? Uh, no, 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 no. Sure. This is creepy as shit. <laughs> fried egg and a waffle. It, it Two just, fried eggs? It looks intense. Uh, just one. Sure. Yeah. You're not that hungry? No, I'm not that hungry. How? Uh, uh, I don't know. I don't like lights. Okay, well, I'll make you a little rice ball on the side. Nope. With no I don't fish. want any fish. No Zero fish, fish. No fish. Uh, just a regular rice ball? Yeah. All right, I'll have a regular rice ball. Ooh, Do you want kimchi yeah. in it? Yeah. Okay. Uh, that's one thing that drives me crazy is dating an Asian girl, they always sneak Asian food into your diet. Even exactly. if you don't want it, they'll be like, oh, you want a little rice ball with kimchi? I mean, I can't, I, I, I can't, I mean, I if you don't have french fries or, or, or uh, corn nuggets or tater tots. Asian yeah. food is better. It's the best. <laughs> it's just fish and eggs. All it is fish and eggs. Why do you like fish so much? You shouldn't eat fish. Chicken's disgusting. Chicken is not my favorite. I like cow. I like meat. Sometimes cow is disgusting too. Whatever. If Whatever pisses not, Indian people oh, off, I love. If it's not good quality. <laughs> good, qu good quality cow? Like, what are you talking about? A cow with a fur coat? What are you talking about, good cow? Like a happy, healthy cow. I think all cows are happy and healthy. That's the problem about no, eating not. them. Like they're, they're so happy. No, they're and nice. sick and they're sad and they're suffering, and that's what we're eating. So, what do you think fish are? Emotionless. They have no emotion. Yeah. And I stand up for a second, and I come back. Okay. Oh, okay, so is it gonna be like a steam VR? So you're saying cows are more human-like and fish are more 
not human like. Duh. All right. Gotcha. Yeah. I'm censoring myself right now. Yeah, it sounds like it might be so kind of Yeah. Yeah, with all the, with the different controller inputs, it, it does get weird. Um, I guess in with those controls, I don't know what. Give it up for Janice, the best yeah. fish creature I know. Can you massage my shoulder later? I mean, all right. Not like pressing them necessarily, but just like holding them down. But if you, yeah, as you can see, if you, you know, your fingers move it, you can figure out the yeah. different poses. Here we go. I'm gonna go back into it. Uh, you know, thumbs up, fist, point. Yeah, I don't two like fingers, two, rock and roll. Um, if you oh, can figure out there whatever it is wrong. to do this, uh, yeah, there's thumbs up. So let's say yeah, thumbs up is one, but if you can figure out to whatever it is to make a fist, that will that should be what. It is uh, no, I saw you doing that. that. You were, you were uh, getting there. Yeah. It's, it's I, I, really, I, I don't want to try it. No! Nah, I, I gotta I figure it out. I it. I'm lazy about it. Yeah. I, 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 I gotta go out. I think I, 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 think I would just get extremely sick. I have a hard time even on small ones, so I'm, I'm, I'm lazy. Pain in you. Yeah. But yeah, it looks cool. The, the Windows Mixed Reality stuff. I like that the score's up there really for the game, I guess. Whatever. I, saw it's, I mean, works. it's it's great when you, like, no, when you look up the reviews of like, like the game people. And stuff. So. What are you talking yeah, about? Yeah. Sure. Seven, yeah. whatever that was. Uh, Windows Don't see that up there? And, uh, mm -hmm. on the left. Yeah. Hey, Eon. Wherever it is. Hey. What's up? Did you take a ride on the jet ski from hell? The red one yet? No, I'm not going to do that. I was actually talking to Janice. I've actually never been on a jet ski. Uh, Dude, let's go to Lake Travis. And I told Janice the reason why is like, 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 <laughs> this is funny. But I was, I was like, yeah, yeah, do I have to take my shirt off? Like, like, I was, I always felt like water sports as a kid. I was like, I don't want to take my shirt off. I'm going to show my juicy nipples to anyone, you know. As a fat kid, you understand. Uh, <laughs> Even when I was skinny, I was like, no, nah, they don't deserve this. You know what I mean? Like, it's. The guy's like, I don't want to take my shirt off. And he's got like six inch long, like nipples. Yeah, well, I don't have Rogan nipples, but I have like normal size nipples. This place is fun. of us, you do. Like a crazy yeah, dude. We can water we can, jet we ski. can hit up Lake <laughs> Travis. I know a couple guys that have a jet ski rentals, and we could. Okay, go. yeah, maybe in the future we should do that. Uh, I feel like I'll like it. I feel like I'll like it for sure. Like I'm just kidding about the shirt. Oh, yeah. shit. I don't get really give a fuck. It's more Over about the back suits. hair. Over wet suits. Uh, <laughs> 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 yeah, but. Uh, Janice told me you don't have to take your t-shirt off for a jet ski, so I'm good. I'm good. I'm actually going to wear a well, coat. Wanna I'm going to wear December. a pea coat when I go on a... Like, have you ever seen somebody wear, uh, like, ride a jet ski with a pea coat? I'm going to do that. Uh, oh, shit. You should a windbreaker. Something weird. By the way, uh, Hans Members Kim, only. Hans Kim, like a week ago or so, uh, said, "Hey, start calling me during virtual red band." So I just called him. Like uh, that was so hilarious. Like I could tell he was like sleeping, but uh, <laughs> he's always talking to Hans Kim in the middle of the night. Uh, let's go to somewhere else. Uh, where is uh, a funny talented guy? Where is uh, K? Still no K, huh? All right, let's go to. We haven't been here in a long ass time. Oh wait, they, do they even promote it anymore? You know what? Fuck it. Let's go to a great pug. Irish pub. This is where uh, if Bill Burr was virtual reality. He would he would live here. This is Bill Burr's club. In virtual reality. Shh. <coughs> well, a bunch more people just 
Oh, yeah, you hear us, uh, I'm sorry. What? Oh, no. Hello. You need a bigger mirror. Hello. 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 Oh, yeah, Derek. Hello. Hello. <laughs> Keep that Sendal Shader's oh, gun hello. away from me. Hello. Keep that Sendal Shader's gun away from me. Hmm? Wait, what's <laughs> it what yeah, it does. Oh, you know the shaders, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. Get away from me. What? <laughs> no, it doesn't, it doesn't, it doesn't. What are you talking it about? Uh-huh, okay. Oh my god. It doesn't, it's it's a whole other toggle for, for that. <laughs> okay, okay. Hey, I'm small you. now. <laughs> Bro, Boba Fett? Hell yeah. Mm -hmm. I love Boba Fett. Thank you. Thank you. Give you a thumbs up. He oh, spoiled the well, series about you. Well, no, it's, he's Boba Fett, but his name is Boba Fett. Oh my god. But he's Boba Fett. But if we're saying wow. like Captain Rady, I'll say Somebody give that dude a star! <laughs> give Travis a star for that amazing commentary of Boba Fett's life. <laughs> amazing, it's like yeah. Boba Fett, but it's Boba Fett! <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm ready to look at myself in the mirror and act like that didn't happen. <laughs> my, where's my Jack and Diet? There we go. There we go. I'm gonna take this off. <laughs> hey, I didn't mean to make it uncomfortable. I was just like. Stating the weird shit that's happening, and like I'm all these lie. all these people were hanging out with that guy beforehand, so they're like, "What's up with that dude?" And I uh, maybe I'm I don't know. Extremely bored. All right, so that guy's bored about this. Singing from to a mirror, you do that. All right. This game is boring. This game is boring. Who's saying this? Travis. Some, all right. Yeah. Travis, you think this game's boring? Have you been to Meat Grinder yet? Ah oh, shit, we almost meat grinder. Oh, oh my boy, god, oh, dude, oh, you gotta play meat grinder. <laughs> it's one of the best games in VR chat. Oh, it will change your life. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, okay. That's I so have good. Played this. Yeah, I actually have played this. It's so good, right? It's my favorite place. I think that's my favorite place. It's actually, yeah, it's very, very fun. I wish they had that on like Xbox hey, or something. Minute. You know, like, like <laughs> that'd be yeah. cool. The whole fucking lab there. <sighs> What? <laughs> this is a small ass thorn. That's 19k polys. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, put, it, put it down. Put, put that gun away. What is that? Whoa. Uh, you want to see the cop? I'll show Goku's you the cop. Power. I don't want to see anything, man. No. You got a problem with that? I know, no, I know. I love that. I love 2018, the classic 2018 AFK lab killer. All right, all right, all right. Let's see it. All right, that's fine. Let's see it. All right, that's fine. Get a bat. I mean, if you're living in 2018, still. Ooh, we gonna read the bot? Wait. Okay. No forty. Yeah, I love that fucking lie. Wow. Yeah, I didn't even see it. Ha ha ha. Yep. No bad. No, because we're getting IP addresses nah, right now, hard. right, guys? Let's okay. do some IP addresses real quick. Particles, so probably All right. Be pretty hard. Beep, 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 oh my beep, god, what is that? Beep, 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 it's the penetrator. It just sits there and jiggles. Give me this prefab. Add me on Discord and give me this prefab. All right, blueberry buttons. Let's go. I, yeah, I, I got a new joke, I think, probably. Let me look it up. Where's my f Oh, my phone's dead. Uh, let me think of a joke. <laughs> um, a joke, but it's not, like, stand-up ready. All right, don't say it, then. Uh, you have to say it as, only as a stand-up? All right, no, what's your joke? What's your joke? I can't even think. All right, 
So I was at this store, this coffee shop the other day, and mm-hmm. one of the employees he kept going, uh, very nice, very nice. Ugh. Like saying like quotes right. from, from Borat's. Right. So I think he, instead of t- Tourette's, he had Borat's disease. <laughs> All right. That's cute. I mean, it's cute. Bad. It's cute, but you shouldn't say that on stage, you know? No, that's why I didn't. <laughs> yeah. Uh, stage jokes. Uh, hmm. Wait, let me see if I can get my note notes on my i uh, on my watch. Hold on. Is there a note app? That's a cool avatar. Is there a note app on the oh, watch? Okay. I don't see I it. To finish working on this one. Oh my god, there's not a note app oh, on the did watch? You, did you make that one? That's crazy. It's nice. Sorry, I've imported yet. Let me try this. Oh yeah, looks good. Open notes app. It doesn't look like you have an app named notes. You'll need oh, to get crap. them from the app store first. <laughs> hey, you're... No, welcome back. Oh shit. That's an Apple... Yeah, Apple K... All right. How is there not the notes app on the Apple watch? All right, fuck that. I don't care. What is, uh, let's see. Hmm. 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 The avatar is so cool. I'll just make a joke up. Uh, yeah, improv. Woo. All right. Hey, I hate girls that have bangs. It looks like they're looking over the side at their neighbors and they get fucking kicked in the back of their back and it just chops off all their hair. And like, you know, that's not a joke. Uh, That's an idea (laughs) for a tag. Uh, The best thing about women is when they peep. You know what I'm talking about? Like, I have a girl that I live next to, and she's always looking at uh, over the fence. And then, no, wait, that's just a setup. The best thing about women is after they get curb stomped by their boyfriend, they always look like they have bangs because they're always looking over the fence, and they, no. warmer right there's something to that though maybe uh hmm um oh you know it sucks it's not a joke but i ate a bunch of corn like a couple days ago i didn't see it again when you don't see corn again kind of freaks me out again you know what i mean like you're always be you're always supposed to see corn again but when you don't see them again I'm like what's going on was that not corn like are we eating like fake corn like that's not a joke but like it's kind of freaking me out like i had a bunch of corn to the point where i even like joked to my friend i'm like i'm eating some tracers you know like i always call corn tracers <laughs> And he even knew what I was talking about. We all know. Every time you eat corn, you're going to see it again. Sometimes a lot earlier than you would expect to. Like I'm like, oh, I just ate that two hours ago. How'd that happen? Was that corn? Like, <laughs> was there some oil in that corn? Like, like, like imagine if like you ate some corn that had a bunch of oil and just slid through your body so fast that you saw it two hours later. Like that's. I've had that happen before, but I ate so much corn the other day. I have not seen it. It's been two days and I've been shit normal, you know, makes me wonder if those corn was like some kind of like secret spy corn. Hey, Gwyneth, you ever ate corn? You never saw it again. Hmm? You ever eat any corn? And you never saw it again, like like you never pooped it out and go like. No, that was an affirmation. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. you have. You've <laughs> ate corn and never seen it. Again. Popcorn. Well, no, I'm talking That's about. Very good for you. If you eat like actual corn, 
You should always see it again, or, or at least a couple of them. But I've been for it, yeah. But no, I've been looking for it. It's bad. You think? You think it just go, Limit stays in your? How much corn you eat? You think it just stays in your body sometimes and rots? Yeah. Oh man. So it's rotting in your stomach or in your intestines or what? Yeah, you where's this corn ha- hanging out? Stuck in the intestine, rotting in your mm. intestine. Corn. Hmm. <laughs> Not technically rotting. There's a joke in there about popcorn, too. I don't know how to do it, though. Hmm. Body doesn't process corn very. Did you guys hear no. that? No. Uh, my dad always thought it was funny. Like, every time he pooped corn, he would always be like, Brian, come here, come here. I, I made something for you to eat. And like, I'm like, Dad, I'm five years old. And then like, I'd go to the bathroom <laughs> and he'd just like open up the toilet and I'm like, look, I made you some corn. I'm like, Dad, Pops, that's popcorn. All right. I, I, uh, I don't think that's the real joke. <laughs> uh, you know what? I never like to eat corn with ketchup, but I always see it. You know, like. Uh, that's a poop joke. All right. Uh, let's, uh, <laughs> itchy, itchy asshole joke. Like you ever get an itchy asshole? Mm. You guys didn't like this one. It's if you eat something made from scratch. Gives you an itchy asshole. You suck. Uh, <laughs> uh <thanks. laughs> I thought that was kind of funny. I like, I like the angle, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's like if my stepmom made a joke. Just so you know. Hey. <laughs> hey, Carolyn. Hey, Carolyn, come over here. Uh, tell me a joke. Go, oh, I, I make a poopy jokey. Uh, me, me, me. You know, like, that's a Carolyn joke. Uh, I got I got a good a good joke idea. Scatological humor. Thank you very much. Not New cell idea. phone. New cell phone number. <laughs> It's a good one to improv off of. What? New cell phone number. Like you get a new number and you get the other people calling you up. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah the worst is the, the, the worst is when like, like uh, I have a friend. I'm not going to say who it is. I don't want any connection to this. I have a friend who's a comedian who became very famous Didn't know they changed their phone number. Of course they did. When you get to a certain famous, you immediately change your phone number. Didn't think about it. I just wrote, hey, Red Band here. Uh, And I sent them this very obnoxious uh, uh, text. And I said my name for some reason, which I usually don't do. And they wrote back like, oh, I know you. What are you doing with your dick? (laughs) <laughs> and I never replied, blocked that number immediately. But I always wondered for like two years. I always wondered, like, who was that guy? Like, like is that guy just some like, you know, random? Per- like, I don't know. <laughs> New number. Who's Dick? Right. <laughs> New phone, new dick. Got it. <laughs> new phone, new you know what the worst thing is? Like a trend of spam callers. You probably have seen this, I'm guessing. Unless I'm the only one that has seen this. Uh, new spam shit is where, like, say like your number is 717-422-5178. Like, they'll do, like, the same phone number, 5279, Five to eighty one, like, and they'll just spam like forty people in a row in a text message for some reason, and then they'll have like a link. So everyone, like a group chat, everyone's talking like, "Wait, who are you? How'd you get my number? What is the like?" And it, then you have like the people in your group chat like calling you and like like because tr- they don't know that it's like a group chat. Like it's just it's the worst thing that's ever like. Like, if you own a cell phone company, one of the filters you have to put in place immediately is anyone that's texting a phone number 
with the same phone number but one digit off next to it, you block that call, you dumb <laughs> fucks. Wait, wait. How many? How much money you you get paid? T-Mobile, Verizon, Sprint. Like you don't have that filter yet, but you're allowing that shit. Like that's that shit has happened to me three times in the last month. Ugh. Wow. Ugh. Have you had that happen at all? Like a text, a group text from everyone with the same phone number, but off a little, one or two. No. Am I the only one? No. I've had it three times this month. More famous, definitely. Yeah, maybe. An influx of the last. From a number. Yes. The the last six months has just been an influx of just like spam links and like. Right. My favorite is this woman. Yeah. Like it sounded like a normal American woman, not Indian, not not Japanese or whatever. Like this woman called me and goes, "Hey, Brian." Nice to see, finally get a hold of you. Anyways, let's talk about your student loans. And I'm like, whoa. I go, wait, you're a real person. Yeah, I'm a real person. I'm like, I've n- I don't owe any student loans. What are you talking about? Hang up. <laughs> Just straight hang up. Try to call back blocked. Like, oh, how insane is that? This woman that was talking to me wasn't somebody trained to sound English. This is somebody in Indiana right now trying to make money. And they don't even know. Like, there's somebody else with the hang up button in the other room going, hang up, hang up. You know what I mean? Like, this is like coming from inside the country. Like, wow, that's fucked up. That's, that's fucked up. And she had your name. Yeah. Yeah. But that's easy. Like that, all that shit's easy. That's true. Be right back. Hey, you know what? I'm ready to be right back. Also, I'm actually going to take off. Uh, I've been on for a while. Uh, I'm about to eat some food. Uh, good seeing you guys. It was good seeing you too. Yeah. All right. I'll In this catch- quality new world. Quality new world. <laughs> catch you on the flip side. They are. They catch you on the flip nice. side. Meow. Hey, Mark. Hey. You want to walk over here? As your friend here. I was just going to say, how's. Sorry about everything, and man, you're just going through the the mill shit, dude. uh, It's.